Chapter 181 Deciphering the Medicinal Formula Translator Born to be Tang Wan er resisted laughing and turned to look at Long Chen stiffly. What are you following me for? He, obviously to see some of that legendary top grade 10,000 beast essence blood. Long Chen shamelessly winked and laughed, attempting to charm her. She had been trying to put on an angry air, but in front of Long Chen, that was always incredibly difficult. Putting away her angry face, she explained, this is something only core disciples can obtain. My 10,000 beast essence blood is many times greater than the portions you guys get. I'll give you half now, but you must promise me to always follow by my side and to help boost morale for me. Also, you can't make any more of your jokes. Half? Then wouldn't you not have enough? Asked Long Chen. If I use it sparingly it should be enough. Tang Wan Er was also unsure. Where's my portion? Long Chen asked where his original jar was. Tang Wan Er handed him a jar. This should have been yours. But the essence blood inside is very ordinary. Your physical body is much stronger than others. So you need the 10,000 beast essence blood more than me. It's rumored that the jar I have contains the essence blood of magical beasts that have lived for over 10,000 years. Long Chen opened the jar and broke open the seal over the opening. A dense smell of blood surged out, bringing with it a powerful medicinal scent as well. Yuli powder, South Ski Star, New Twin Grass, Earth Dragon Root. Long Chen was lost in thought, immediately distinguishing several types of medicinal ingredients from that scent. Tang Wan Er looked at him strangely. You can smell them out. Long Chen nodded. He dipped his finger into the blood and then tasted it. Bitter cube. White peony. Water lily seed. Long Chen distinguished 18 different medicinal ingredients. In the end contemptuously saying. This is ordinary magical beast essence blood that has been mixed with herbs that complement the blood essence in order to form a medicinal liquid that can aid people to condense their blood to the peak. Tang Wan Er looked at him woodenly. You can really tell the formula? This 10,000 beast essence blood is a secret formula of the Zhuanshan sect no one else has ever figured it out or obtained it. Of us registrants who came to the Zhuanshan monastery, there's a very large portion that came here specifically for this magical beast essence blood. Tang Wan Er could not be blamed for not believing him. No one would possibly believe this. This 10,000 beast essence blood was something even the Zhuanshan monastery itself didn't know how to make. It was a resource sent from above. There were once countless people who had tried researching this secret formula, but they had all failed in the end. So now the Zhuanshan Monastery had attracted who knew how many people, all for this medicinal liquid. Let me try out your 10,000 beast essence blood. Long Chen grabbed Tang Wan Er's jug, opening it. Powerful blood key immediately filled the room. He saw that she had more much than him too. TCH. What crap. There's no way this essence blood was from 10,000 year old magical beasts. This is clearly just third rank magical beast essence blood, but the medicinal ingredients inside are not the same. Cursed Long Chen, with his pill god soul, he was able to distinguish essentially every natural treasure, and he could even figure out the specific portions of the medicinal ingredients within this 10,000 beast essence blood just from smelling and tasting it. The magical beast essence blood in this jar was the exact same as the one in Long Chen's jar, however, the medicinal ingredients inside had been increased. One or Help me record what I say. Although Tang Wan Er didn't know what Long Chen was planning, she still nodded and took out a brush and paper. Long Chen dripped a drop of this so called 10,000 beast essence blood onto his tongue and then closed his eyes. Soul returning incense, spirit protection horn, earth scaber, elegant silk flower. Tang Wan Er quickly focused on writing, afraid to misspell something. Long Chen finished in just one breath. Tang Wan Er had written down 48 different medicinal ingredients. Long Chen went to rinse his mouth and then once more closed his eyes, dripping another drop of 10,000 beast essence blood onto his tongue, continuing naming medicine ingredients. He repeated that a total of three times before stopping. Tang Wan Er picked up her piece of paper. He had repeated the exact same 48 medicinal ingredients all three times. Only the order in which he had said them had been different. Long Chen, is this for real? Tang Wan Er couldn't believe her own eyes. If other people knew Long Chen could decipher the Zhuanshan sect secret formula, that would definitely attract killers and assassins. There shouldn't be anything wrong. As long as you can gather third rank magical beast essence blood, I can make this so called 10,000 beast essence blood. Long Chen really was speechless inside when he mentioned the 10,000 part. It was complete deception that this was essence blood from magical beasts older than 10,000 years. Third-rank magical beasts were only able to live for around 2,000 years. 
A magical beast that was 10,000 years old had to have at least reached the fourth rank. Weren't they purposely defrauding others? Even for those huge sects, it would cost a great deal for them to use fourth rank magical beast essence blood in experiments to find this formula. It was no wonder that no one had managed to figure out their secret formula after all these years. That was because they had been played. The Zhuangshan Monastery truly was skillful. This deception had perfectly played its part one or you can absorb all this magical beast essence blood. Although it's only third rank magical beast essence blood, after it has been mixed with these 48 medicinal ingredients, the blood will be completely activated. As long as you absorb it, all the impurities within your blood will be completely expelled and a perfect advancement will be no problem. But you, don't worry about me. I can easily make it myself. Furthermore, even if I absorb it, I can't advance to the tendon transformation realm. That would be a waste, advised Long Chen. He was very grateful to Tang Wan Er. She really was a kind-hearted girl. She nodded and raised her hand, her spiritual strength spreading out. It went without saying that Tang Wan Er's spiritual strength was extremely great. The magical beast essence blood within the jar slowly floated out in front of Tang Wan Er. She gently closed her eyes, placing her hand around the ball of essence blood. She began to absorb the energy from within it. Long Chen stealthily left the immortal cave. Seeing King Yu was outside, he knew that she was there to guard for Tang Wan Er. After greeting her, Long Chen found a secluded place. Placing his hand inside his jug, his spiritual strength began to circulate, and a whirlpool appeared over his palm, beginning to absorb the magical beast essence blood. In just a couple breaths, all the essence blood was completely absorbed by him. Compared to Tang Wan Er's gentle method, Long Chen was like a ravenous wolf, swallowing it all in a single mouthful. As the magical beast essence blood settled into his body, Long Chen's blood immediately began to surge and crazily circulate. If other people knew Long Chen had used such a method to absorb the essence blood, they would be frightened to death. That was magical beast essence blood, not human blood. It would clash heavily with human blood. Hastily absorbing it would cause a huge explosion within the blood vessels. In the less severe cases it would cause the blood vessels to burst. In serious cases, it could cause the entire body to explode. That was why Tang Wan Er was absorbing it carefully. She needed to extract the wild nature within the essence blood, only absorbing the life energy within. Only that pure life energy was able to once more purify her blood to a perfect level. As for Long Chen, he understood his body the best. He was too lazy to use such a strenuous method and had instead directly absorbed it all into his body. He used his body's blood energy to suppress that beast blood. That caused a huge battle inside his body as his blood was being fiercely attacked by the new beast blood. Long Chen's blood had reached a terrifying level. That beast blood within the jar only had a chance to surge a couple times before it was completely swallowed. Then with a wave of his hand, he shot out a blood dart. That was the expelled impurities. As for the useful life energy, it had all been absorbed. Rumbling came from his body, sounding as if a large river was surging. That was the sound of his blood constantly circulating. It was so loud that it could be heard outside his body. To raise the blood energy to this level was absolutely shocking. He didn't know how other people cultivated. But Long Chen had gone through records of normal cultivators and there had never been any recording of such a thing. And so Long Chen didn't want to cultivate with anyone else. The main thing was that his cultivation path was already completely different from others and would attract attention. Boom. Suddenly an explosion rang out from within his body and key waves surged out destroying a couple small trees in his surroundings. Long Chen sighed gently. He had finally broken through. His physical strength had once more increased, but his ki and blood had decreased. He would need more time to form more ki and blood. Calculating the time, Long Chen realized that each time he advanced a level it would require double the time of the previous level. This time he had used over a month of time. He was now at the seventh heaven stage. According to that speed, the eighth heaven stage would require two months the ninth heaven stage four months, and then advancing to the tendon transformation realm would require eight months. According to that calculation, wouldn't he need a year and a half to reach the tendon transformation realm? That would really be an extravagant waste of time. Perhaps if he fought ordinary disciples then he could summon his divine ring to fight across levels. But if he encountered those on the level of core disciples, wouldn't he be oppressed into being a dog? Furthermore, a year and a half was a conservative estimate. It was more than possible it could take longer. Then he really would be holding back Tang Wan Er. That was unacceptable. He had to find a way to train faster. 
He needed to quickly manufacture that 10,000 beast essence blood. When Long Chen returned to the immortal cave, he saw that Tang Wan'er was still carefully absorbing that essence blood. But he also saw her face was red and her aura was already unstable, a sign she was about to advance. King Yu and Long Chen stood guard outside the immortal cave. Although they knew this place was extremely safe, they were still afraid of someone startling Tang Wan'er at this time. If they really allowed such a slip up in their carelessness, they would be unable to accept the consequences. Boom. Suddenly a light sound rang out from behind. A powerful aura surged out. Both Long Chen and King Yu celebrated, turning to look at Tang Wan'er. Tang Wan'er was still just seated there in lotus position. Gentle winds blew across her body, and a gem-like glow came from her delighted eyes. Sensing the powerful aura from her body and that powerful pressure, Long Chen sighed inside. Perhaps it will be me who is bullied by her from now on. Chapter 182 Everyone Advancing Translator Born to be this night was fated not to be an ordinary night. Explosions continuously rang out on the small mountain Long Chen was on, and powerful auras continued to surge out. If they weren't afraid to startle others, some of them would have shouted out in joy. With the assistance of the magical beast essence blood, they had all smoothly advanced. Furthermore, they found that once they had advanced, their physical strength had explosively grown at least ten times. Circulating their auras, they found there was not even the slightest bit of resistance, meaning they had reached the level of a flawless advancement. Once in the tendon transformation realm, once ki and blood superimposed, when your ki and physical power complemented each other, your strength would reach a hard-to-imagine level. That was the terrifying aspect of the tendon transformation realm. There was also the saying in the cultivation world, three levels a chasm. The meaning was that in cultivation, whenever you ran into the third level, there would be a large heavenly chasm separating levels. In terms of the minor realms, the third heaven stage represented a large dividing line. From the initial to mid stages was large gap that was difficult to leap across. The sixth heaven stage and ninth heaven stage were multiples of three and also followed that reasoning. The difficulty at those levels jumped. But once you were past those levels, your combat strength would also increase greatly. And so with multiples of three as the foundation, the early, mid and late stages were clear dividing marks that were difficult to cross, and the tendon transformation realm would be the major realm's first third, first key condensation, then blood condensation, and then finally third was tendon transformation. So the families of these genius disciples viewed this realm as incredibly important. They even sent their talented junior generation to the Zhuanshan monastery despite the danger of their dying. All for this flawless advancement. They were all geniuses who possessed at least bronze spirit roots. Adding on a flawless advancement, their foundations were now as steady as MT Tai. Their combat strength would also be absolutely shocking. That was also why these geniuses were able to easily kill the secular world's tendon transformation experts. But in front of their senior apprentice brothers who were also tendon transformation experts, they were unable to even say a word. The difference between the secular world and cultivation world's tendon transformation experts was so great that they were simply not on the same level. Now these geniuses had also broken through to tendon transformation. Although their auras had yet to stabilize since they had only just broken through, they were completely confident that even a hundred of the secular world's tendon transformation experts would be unable to harm them in the slightest. That was the confidence that came from a flawless advancement. A spring breeze suddenly blew by. Thousands of trees burst into blossom. 1. Watching the rising sun. Long Chen was emotionally moved into muttering this line. A light laugh came from behind Long Chen. Tang Wan'er was smiling, appearing like a goddess with the backdrop of the red sunrise. She laughed. Why does such a beautiful verse end up sounding so sorrowful from your mouth? Are you still bitter? Long Chen rolled his eyes. Do you even have to ask? Everyone is blooming while I'm not advancing at all. Tang Wan'er laughed even more when she saw how aggrieved he was. Gently patting his shoulder, she put on the likeness of a big sister and said, Don't worry, now that big sis has advanced to the tendon transformation realm, and with a perfect advancement, I guarantee I won't let you suffer any loss. When she had advanced, the ancestral mark on her forehead had once more appeared, lighting up the entire cave and causing her aura to surge. At that time Long Chen had been very amazed. Now with what she said, he immediately understood that that was perhaps a manifestation of a perfect advancement. Seeing how pleased Tang Wan'er was, although he didn't get jealous, he still didn't exactly like this feeling. Did he really need to rely on a woman to protect him? Then would he even be Long Chen? What? You don't believe I can protect you? 
asked Tang Wan'er when she saw how sulky he was. Long Chen shook his head. I believe you can protect me, but I feel like a beautiful woman like you, has a temperament which changes like the fickle weather. I feel like if you really want to protect me, you should just give your heart to me, that way I'll be relieved Aya. Long Chen hadn't even finished talking before Tang Wan'er gave him kick in the butt. You immoral girl, is this how you show interest in my butt? Raged Long Chen. Now that she had advanced to the tendon transformation realm, her kicks were now capable of greatly hurting him. Tang Wan'er ground her teeth. Interested? Of course I'm interested. I'm interested in all of you. Did you forget how you bullied me at the beginning? But I remembered everything. Big Sis can finally take some revenge today. With a wave of her hand, heaven and earth shook as a wild gale that could be seen with the visible eye enveloped Long Chen. That was Tang Wan'er's wind energy. This time there really was not even the slightest omen of her making her move. After advancing to tendon transformation, the wind energy in her body had become so powerful that she could move it at will without storing up any power. Long Chen was completely shocked. Her wind energy had become many times stronger. He was completely unable to dodge. Aya, Long Chen let out a sharp cry as he was picked up by the wild hurricane and spun around. He, I really didn't expect that you were this good of a dancer. You're definitely most handsome like this. Tang Wan'er laughed, clapping her hands excitedly. Ever since meeting Long Chen, it seemed she had always been the one at the disadvantage, being teased and taken advantage of by Long Chen. Now she finally had a chance to play with Long Chen. He I I I, stop, cried Long Chen. Nope, can't stop won't stop. Having bullied me for so long, Big Sis is going to get some revenge. How could Tang Wan'er release Long Chen so easily? Stop, I'm dizzy. I'm going to throw up. Tang Wan'er was startled, seeing that Long Chen's face truly was green and it didn't seem as if he was faking. She quickly released her wind energy and put on a pleased smile. Fine, this time I'll let you off. Let's see if you dare again ah. As soon as Long Chen was released, he dizzily stumbled around, crashing into Tang Wan'er head on as she was lecturing him. The two of them tumbled to the ground. This time Long Chen was not doing it on purpose. He really was incredibly dizzy. Back when he was a child and would play spin the circle, he would only be able to spin 10 times before getting nauseous. As for just now, he had been spun by Tang Wan'er over a hundred times. It went without saying that even an ordinary person wouldn't be able to bear it. And it was even worse for Long Chen since he was so easily spun dizzy. If Tang Wan'er had continued, he really would have thrown up. When she had released him, he had immediately felt the world spinning around him. Stars spun all around his head. Unable to stay standing, he had been looking for something to grab onto as support when he had fallen onto a goddess. Tang Wan'er was scared witless for a moment after being hugged by Long Chen like this. Her heart pounded and her face was already completely red. For some reason she also felt an unknown feeling creeping into her heart. That kind of feeling was extremely strange to her. Smelling the male scent coming from his body, she forgot to struggle. What are you guys doing? King Yu had just broken through to tendon transformation. Previously it had been Tang Wan'er guarding her, but now that she had finished and she walked out, she immediately saw Long Chen hugging Tang Wan'er with both of them on the ground. Tang Wan'er let out a startled cry and pushed Long Chen away, her face red as an apple and unable to say anything. Wan'er, you're bullying Long Chen again. King Yu sighed dejectedly. What? It's clearly Long Chen bullying me. Tang Wan'er felt a bit wronged. The facts are right in front of you. Look at Long Chen. His eyes are blue. His skin is green. His lips are purple. King Yu's voice continuously rang out in Long Chen's ears. As he felt heaven and earth spinning around him, he still could hear that voice completely clearly. When exactly had he become so multicolored? Two hours later, Long Chen and Tang Wan'er walked out of their immortal cave with their heads down. The two of them had clearly been scolded by King Yu for that entire time. Tang Wan'er apologetically said, Sorry, I didn't know you were weak to this. That also couldn't be blamed on Tang Wan'er. Who would have imagined someone as powerful as Long Chen was afraid of being spun? Ah, I only have that one weak point, but it's been noticed by you. You'll need to keep that secret for me, bitterly said Long Chen. Tang Wan'er nodded and made solemnly vowed, I promise I'll never tell anyone. Looking at the apologetic Tang Wan'er, Long Chen put on an aggrieved expression. Just now I was spun so dizzy that I wasn't able to carefully feel the sensation of hugging a beautiful woman. Then Sister Wan'er, can you have some pity on Junior Brother and let me feel it once more? Long Chen, are you asking for a spanking? Tang Wan'er raised her small fist at him. Ugh, fine. I find you're really becoming more and more petty. 
Long Chen shook his head. Scoundrel, what does this have to do with being petty? Hey, oh beautiful woman, pay more attention to your words and expressions. You're our Heaven Earth faction's old boss, the true representative of our faction. Remember not to embarrass us, reminded Long Chen. Wasn't this because you angered me? Tang Wan Er snorted. And what do you mean old boss? It's faction leader. Thank you very much. Why does everything that comes out of your mouth end up sounding so vexatious? Ah, I guess you can be called the head or perhaps boss. Right, boss, where are you bringing me? Asked Long Chen. We're going to the Zhuanshan Pavilion to get our personal rations as well as the faction rations. Didn't you say you wanted to gather many ingredients? As long as you have enough points, you can obtain anything within the Zhuanshan Pavilion. So this time I'm going to give you my points to use as well. Raising your strength is the most important, explained Tang Wan'er. Looking at Tang Wan'er, he was truly moved inside. Tang Wan'er truly was a good leader. Sister Wan'er, I don't pretend to be moved. TCH, I really despise you. Tang Wan'er directly cut him off, turning her head and not facing him. Long Chen was wooden for a moment. It seemed their pattern had changed now. Before he could even say anything, his intentions were completely seen through by her. That was quite the blow to his confidence. On their way, the two of them ran into quite a few people, but the majority of those people were strangers. The only familiar faces they saw were from Ye's Hikyu's faction. Those people greeted them politely before walking away. Chapter 183 Blow Them Away with a Single Palm Translator Born to be looking at the Zhuanshan Pavilion, Long Chen was a bit puzzled. Isn't the Zhuanshan Pavilion supposed to have nine floors? Why is it only one single level? Fool, the nine floors are underground. If you don't know anything then don't say anything. Don't you see other people looking down on you? Whispered Tang wan -er. And when he looked up, Long Chen did see quite a few people looking at him spitefully. Their eyes were filled with despise and provocation. Long Chen sighed. If he had said something stupid then fine. But why were there so many despising gazes? Ugh. I've always thought the Zhuanshan Monastery was supposed to be a holy land for martial artists to cultivate. But then how did a trash at the 7th Havenstage of Blood Condensation make it in? It really is disappointing. A distant person suddenly icily spoke. Currently Long Chen's cultivation base was known by basically everyone. So he no longer bothered to purposely conceal his aura. As for everyone present, they were all in the Tendon Transformation Realm. So a 7th Havenstage Blood Condensation rookie was extremely eye-attracting. Tang Wan'er's expression changed and she was about to retort when she was pulled back by Long Chen. Don't look at a piece of trash like that. It'll ruin your image. Long Chen was too lazy to bother with that kind of person. Such a person had only come out to find some purpose for his life. Such a person wasn't strong enough to stand out, and so hoped to use this kind of method to prove their own existence. And so the more you bothered with them, the more pleased they would get. But what kind of person was Long Chen? After overcoming death so many times, he had long since become indifferent to such a thing. There was no need for him to waste his precious time on an idiot. Since Long Chen also wasn't angry at all, Tang Wan'er also only smiled slightly. She also realized that her own self-restraint was far too lacking in comparison to Long Chen. No wonder Long Chen always said she was still just a child. Let's go. Tang Wan'er smiled, forgetting about that unpleasantness. She also wanted to be like Long Chen. A person who was like a rippleless old well. Long Chen nodded and walked with her to the Zhuanshan Pavilion. But before they took even two steps, they were blocked by a person. That was the person who had just ridiculed Long Chen. Crossing his arms, he stood there with ridicule for Long Chen. However there was also jealousy when he looked at Tang wan -er. He icily told Long Chen, I refuse to make way for a piece of trash. There were also quite a few others who were coming out of or going to the Zhuanshan Pavilion. They had thought there might be a good show to watch when they had heard him mock Long Chen, but the result was that Long Chen had simply brushed it away, causing them to feel a bit vexed with him. Now that that person once more came to provoke him, everyone paused to watch. If he were to simply take this as well, that really would be a loss of face, and would only cause more people to bully him. Funny, I was thinking the opposite. Long Chen only smiled slightly and pulled Tang wan -er around the fellow. Tang wan -er was first a bit startled but she then covered her mouth as she laughed. The other people were also first startled, but then they soon realized Long Chen's meaning. They looked oddly at that fellow. Seeing Long Chen actually didn't take his bait, that fellow was a bit puzzled. But as he saw everyone looking at him oddly, he finally realized what he had said. You're the trash. 
that person was infuriated and actually let out a punch at Long Chen. From the powerful wind surrounding his fist, it was obvious this person had just advanced to the tendon transformation realm. A hand struck out like lightning. The instant that person had been about to unleash his fist, he was viciously slapped in the face. People let out startled cries as they dodged to the side. That person was blown back like a cannonball. He flew for almost a hundred meters before crashing into a stone wall. That stone which appeared extremely normal was actually extremely sturdy and hard. The stone wall wasn't damaged at all. But that person directly fainted your attacks are always perfectly angled and natural without the slightest signs. It's a kind of flawless beauty. How do you manage to do that? Excitedly asked Tang Wan'er. She had long since taken note of this move of Long Chen's. It was also just like how he had slapped Lu Chuan from the healing hall. His attacks were extremely clean and open, and yet others were unable to dodge it. In Tang Wan'er's eyes, that was already a divine technique, second only to that divine ring he had once summoned. However the killing ability inside it was not the slightest bit inferior. This is one of the divine techniques handed down from my ancestors. But if you want to learn, it's also not difficult. As long as an idiot takes action against you, just directly blow them away with a single palm. If you diligently work at it all day, you'll naturally train it to the point of perfection and reach the peak. Solemnly explained Long Chen. Then can you teach it to me? Expectantly asked Tang Wan'er. I can't. That would damage your image. Just let me handle such people. I'll be in charge of handling idiots. And you be in charge of being as beautiful as a flower. Said Long Chen. Tang Wan'er laughed beautifully. Her laugh was like a flower in bloom. A beauty so great that others were unable to control their own hearts. What brazen person dares be impudent in front of the Zhuanshan Pavilion A? Eh? It's you. A cold shout rang out and a group of white-robed men walked out. The person at the front was the one who had shouted and he recognized Long Chen. When Long Chen and Tang Wan'er saw that person, they immediately realized the situation had turned sour. That person was the senior apprentice brother Wu who had had a dispute with Long Chen. Back in the trial region, while Tang Wan'er and Lai Kian Chang had been fighting over the Nine Leaf Orchid, Long Chen had ended up killing Xiao Wu, almost being expelled from the monastery. It had been the senior apprentice brother Wu who had found Long Chen extremely dislikable. So naturally Long Chen also didn't treat him kindly, causing him to have a stomach full of fire. As a member of the law enforcers, he was someone who normally patrolled the monastery. Although the monastery encouraged competition, they wouldn't allow things like fighting within or near buildings. After all, fists and legs had no eyes, and if they were to destroy a building by accident, that would be troublesome. So there were some areas within the monastery where fighting was forbidden. If you did end up breaking something within the monastery, you would have to use your own points or perhaps accomplish the monastery's missions to make up for it. But naturally everything within the monastery was extremely precious. If you ended up destroying certain treasures, you could spend your entire life working for the monastery without being able to fully compensate them. And that was why there were law enforcers patrolling, intimidating these disciples from fighting and resolving some disputes. Now that he saw Long Chen, senior apprentice brother Wu's eyes lit up and he pointed at him. Brat, last time I said not to fall into my hands. He, you really didn't disappoint me. Tang Wan'er tried to think of some way out of this, but she couldn't. She knew the senior apprentice brother Wu was going to abuse his authority for his personal revenge. What does your disappointment have to do with me? Lightly said Long Chen. Haha, you fought within a fighting prohibited region. As one of the monastery's law enforcers, I use my authority to take you into custody. Are you still not yielding? Icily sneered senior apprentice brother Wu. A long chain appeared in his hands. That was the specific weapon of law enforcers, used to lock people up. Anyone who violated the monastery's rules would be bound and brought away like a dog in a loop around the monastery before then being sent to the law enforcement hall. They would be then punished according to the severity of the offense. For this kind of offense the punishment wasn't that severe. After all, it was just a scuffle and nothing big had happened. The punishment couldn't be too great or people would be too afraid to even compete. But although the punishment wasn't too severe, being led around in chains was an extremely great humiliation. These people were all geniuses. Which one of them weren't prideful? That kind of humiliation was even worse than their actual punishment. Last time senior apprentice brother Wu had only just been released from prison for two days which had given him a belly full of fire he needed to release. He was also someone who was easy to burst into anger. So that day he had been especially irritated by Long Chen. Now that he saw Long Chen now, 
He immediately thought of that day and moved to lock Long Chen in chains. Bang. Long Chen grabbed the chains, icily glaring at senior apprentice brother Wu. At the same time, Tang Wanner also came up, ready to take action at any moment. Although she knew opposing a law enforcer was a taboo, she would not let Long Chen be humiliated like this. As for the consequences, she didn't even think about them at this time. Oh, you actually dare resist? Then don't blame me for not being polite. Seeing Long Chen grab the chains, senior apprentice brother Wu was delighted inside. Since Long Chen dared to resist, then he could even heavily injure Long Chen without being punished. He was just about to attack when Long Chen stopped him. Wait. Long Chen icily glared at him. If you want to use your position to take your revenge against me, you should also explain exactly what rule I broke. Senior apprentice brother Wu sneered. HMPH. Anyone who fights within the fighting, prohibited regions of the monastery will all be punished with three days imprisonment. Do you not know that? Then let me ask you, how are the fighting prohibited regions determined? There are a total of seven fighting prohibited regions, other than the fighting prohibited area itself. It also includes the 300 meters around the fighting prohibited buildings. What? Do you need me to explain it even clearer? Sneered senior apprentice brother Wu. Obviously he was very proficient in his own work. Then take a good look. Is the spot I'm standing within the fighting prohibited region? Asked Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Wu's expression changed slightly as he realized Long Chen was standing on the very edge of the fighting prohibited region and he couldn't tell whether he really was in or not. TCH. What you say doesn't mean anything. We'll just measure it. Senior apprentice brother Wu glanced at one of his people. That person took out a measuring tape and walked up to the door of the Zhuanshan pavilion and began to start measuring. That tape measure was precisely 300 meters long. That person slowly unfurled the measuring tape as he walked over to Long Chen. Looking at that person's actions, Long Chen shook his head. This was completely intolerable. Reaching the end of the measurement, that tape measure reached the middle of Long Chen's foot. Tang Wanner's expression changed. Long Chen was already in the fighting prohibited region. If he was just half a step back he would have been fine. Long Chen lightly said to that person, not bad. That person icily looked back at him with disdain. Newcomer shouldn't be too arrogant. The monastery isn't your home. So it'd be best for you to be a bit more obedient. Junior disciple accepts senior apprentice brother's teaching. Junior disciple also wishes to show senior apprentice brother something. Long Chen spread his arms wide. But everyone saw there was nothing in them. What is it? That person's face sunk. Thinking Long Chen was playing with him. Although you can't see it. But you can feel it. P.O.W. Chapter 184 Fierce Fight with Law Enforcer's Translator Born to be what? Everyone was dumbfounded as that law enforcer sent flying. Hundreds of people had already gathered here since the law enforcers had shown up. Two of them core disciples. Originally they had actually admired Long Chen for daring to send someone flying here. But then they saw him crazily attack a law enforcer as well. Law enforcers represented the monastery. No disciples were able to resist against them. If they did. Their endings could only be miserable. Although those two had only just joined the sect, they at least already knew that they absolutely could not attack law enforcers. Otherwise it wouldn't even be a question of punishment. That kind of action was a grave and open provocation against the monastery. He would be expelled. Was he crazy? Tang Wanner was also given a fright. She looked at Long Chen with horror. Scoundrel. Do you not care about your life? Long Chen whispered. Don't be afraid. We're in the right. Make as much of a ruckus as you can now. Otherwise we'll end up suffering a loss. At this time, the seven law enforcers finally recovered from their shock. He dared attack law enforcers? He must be tired of living. Senior apprentice brother Wu was first shocked, then absolutely delighted. He roared. He dares violently resist the law, disrespecting the monastery's prestige. Capture him with your full strength. If he dares resist, you can kill him. The chain in senior apprentice brother Wu's hand seemed to come to life, piercing towards Long Chen. That black chain brought with it wild whistling sound. That powerful pressure caused people to be unable to breath. This was their senior apprentice brother's strength. Although they were only at the bottom level of their generation, they hadn't wasted their past three years. Their cultivation bases were all above the mid-tendon transformation realm. Their combat strengths were incredibly powerful and their foundations were extremely solid. A random attack could easily break a person's bones. Long Chen shouted and his aura exploded out. He knew the senior apprentice brother Wu was planning on deliberately humiliating him. 
but he had no choice but to admit he was extremely powerful. If he was the slightest bit careless, he would be directly destroyed by that power. He slammed his hands together. That large chain was caught between his hands, but the powerful energy transmitted through it caused Long Chen's blood to shake. How powerful. That was just an ordinary attack, but I almost can't hold it off. Long Chen let out a shocked cry inside. This was the difference of cultivation basis. His current self would definitely suffer in order to resist senior apprentice brother Wu. Brat, go die. Long Chen had only just stopped his chain when another chain shot over at Long Chen's stomach. Moonwind slash. A wind blade flew out following a cry, striking that chain. That person who had attacked was horrified and shaken back. That person currently had a large handprint on his face. He was the one who had been slapped just now by Long Chen. His cultivation base was high and that slap didn't cause him any injury. However, that humiliation was completely unacceptable. Since you also dare resist the law enforcers, you will also be taken in. Seeing Tang Wan or also dared help Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Wu let out a cold cry. The chain in his hands shook as he attempted to bring his chain back to him. But he was shocked to realize he was unable to break his chain free from Long Chen's grasp. That caused his expression to become incredibly ugly. Long Chen was just a newcomer and was only in the blood condensation realm. He had been planning on using his weakest attacks in order to subdue Long Chen, humiliating him even more. Only then could he display his might as a senior disciple. At the same time, he would be able to intimidate all the newcomers, allowing him to handle them easier in the future. But his first attack was blocked by Long Chen. That was already slightly unacceptable to him. Now he used his full strength and found he was still unable to pull his chain back. That humiliated him into an intense fury. Die. Senior apprentice brother Wu roared. The powerful aura belonging to someone at the mid-tendon transformation realm exploded out of him. A powerful wave of energy flooded over Long Chen. Long Chen felt as if his entire body was being crushed by a huge mountain. He was forced back several meters, unable to maintain his hold over the chain. Receive one blow. Senior apprentice brother Wu's chain suddenly smashed down on Long Chen. As he attacked Long Chen, that other law enforcer who had been slapped by Long Chen also brandished his chain against Tang wan -er. But he was horrified to see that simply by clapping her hands together, Tang wan -er's entire body became covered with dancing wind blades. He was caught off guard and repeatedly forced back. How powerful. She can overpower a law enforcer. That's definitely a core disciple's power. But for her to attack a law enforcer like this, she definitely won't have a good end. Forcing back that law enforcer with a single attack. Tang Wan. Er worriedly turned to go help Long Chen. But another law enforcer coldly shouted and attacked her with another chain. Stay behind. Tang Wan Er was infuriated. Although Long Chen was powerful. He was still in the blood condensation realm. He might be unparalleled in the blood condensation realm, but in front of a true tendon transformation senior apprentice brother, he definitely wouldn't be able to fight on an even level. By attacking her now, this law enforcer obviously did not want her to go help Long Chen. An icy intent appeared in her eyes. Suddenly a huge wind blade dozens of meters long appeared in her hands. She viciously slashed it down on that person, the terrifying power exploding out even engulfing those law enforcers behind him. When that wind blade appeared, space trembled. Within the wind blade flashed some large lines that were continuously trembling as if they were alive. Those lines were her ancestral mark, her inherited rune. Now that she had revived her ancestral mark, her wind blade's rune had become even stronger, giving her wind blades even more attacking strength. Those law enforcers were all shocked. One of them even let out a curse. Fuck. Seeing that huge blade crashing down upon them, None of them dared attack any further. They all brought up their chains to protect their bodies, focusing completely on defense. When that wind blade fell, those law enforcers were all forced back into the distance. But that wind blade still didn't stop and slammed into a huge stone wall. A huge crack appeared in the stone wall where the wind blade struck it. Those people were completely pale and completely stunned. They didn't know whether it would be best for them to continue foolishly standing there or to go up to arrest them. Boom. Another huge explosion rang out and huge cracks appeared on the ground. A terrifying key wave spread out, web-like cracks appearing in the ground as it advanced. Everyone looked in shock to see that a 300-meter ring of light had appeared over Long Chen's back. He was still standing in his punching posture, and facing him was senior apprentice brother Wu. He was completely shocked, as Long Chen's punch had completely received his full strength attack. No way. How is he so powerful? 
able to use a punch to resist a mid-tendon transformation senior disciple, and he's still only in the late blood condensation realm. Wait, I remember now. Wasn't there some amazing monster who appeared in the central area? It's definitely him. Long Chen. Someone finally recognized Long Chen. What is that ring of light? Is it a battle skill or some cultivation technique? How can it be so powerful, allowing him to explode with such might? Everyone looked at Long Chen with shock, including those two core disciples. The entire crowd was deathly silent. Looking at Long Chen and Tang Wan Er, a great feeling of reverence filled them. That was what a powerful expert who didn't fear heaven or earth was like. Using violence to resist the law, damaging public property. Even if I kill you, no one will be able to say anything. Coldly snorted senior apprentice brother Wu. His chain slowly rose into the air. He was clearly about to use an even greater strength to subdue Long Chen. Idiot. That last attack was created by you and me. You really know how to push away blame. Snorted Long Chen. You still dare quibble? This time I'll let you know how to be an obedient person. Senior apprentice brother Wu no longer reserved anything. His chain quivered violently. Charging at Long Chen with a berserk energy. Have I not made enough of a ruckus? Why isn't anyone coming out to stop this? Looks like you really are forcing me to bring down the house raged Long Chen. Although Long Chen had managed to receive his previous attack, pain radiated from his fist from how powerful that attack had been. Even his arm was shaken and his organs had also been slightly injured. He finally learned just how great the distance was between him and the tendon transformation realm. A random attack from a tendon transformation expert was able to injure him. He was definitely not a match for him. Seeing an even stronger attack coming now, Long Chen was infuriated. That bastard wasn't trying to capture him, but to either heavily injure or kill him. Long Chen's fury erupted. It seemed wherever there were people there would be conflict. Wanting to keep the peace was just a dream. Trouble would always find you. If you tried to compromise, there would be even more people coming to rise over you and you'd never be able to change your fate. Long Chen took a deep breath. His Feng Fu star suddenly became silent. A strange energy began to circulate within his body. It was time for him to summon out his Feng Fu battle armor. Stop. Just as he was about to summon it, a dignified row rang out, shaking everyone's eardrums. People turned to see that a gray-robed senior had appeared in front of the Zhuanshan Pavilion at some unknown time. He was currently angrily looking at them. Are you guys trying to rebel? To cause trouble in front of the Zhuanshan Pavilion. What kind of place do you think this is? Angrily roared that elder. Long Chen immediately recognized him as one of the 16 elders who had been activating the stone pillar's energy back during the final trial. Long Chen was about to say something when senior apprentice brother Wu rushed to say, reporting to elder son, this person looked down on the monastery's rules, injuring another in a fighting prohibited region. Disciple went to arrest him but he violently resisted. Everything is all his fault elder. That elder son icily glanced at Long Chen and snorted. Can someone so violent and impertinent become a genius? If such a person doesn't suffer a bit, it's impossible for them to mature. Cane him 80 times and imprison him for a month. Chapter 185 Strict, Impartial, Incorruptible Translator Born to be Long Chen's expression changed. But before he could say anything, Elder Sun waved his hand. Bring him away. Senior apprentice brother Wu Isili laughed and was just about to go over to chain him up Novaloon.com CM Long Chen angrily cursed at Elder Sun. You old bastard. Are you blind or have your eyes grown dim with age? With your powerful spiritual energy. How could you possible not be able to tell that where I was standing just now was clearly 301 meters away from the pavilion door? You're clearing being unjust. But even a person like you is able to become an elder? The Zhuanshan monastery really is blind. Long Chen's spiritual strength was extremely powerful and he had long since noticed there was someone watching from the side. He knew that the person observing this all was definitely at the elder power level. And that was why Long Chen had dared to fight just now. But he really hadn't expected this elder would forcibly suppress him before even determining what was true. That caused his anger to burst out. Long Chen's cursing completely appalled everyone. Was he crazy? First he fought someone in the same generation. Then he fought his senior apprentice brothers, and now he even dared point at an elder and curse him. That was completely insane. How brazen. Elder Sun angrily shouted. A powerful pressure immediately locked Long Chen in place, crushing onto him like a huge mountain. Even Tang Wan Er who was beside him was implicated. Under that pressure she was unable to move and even breathing was difficult. She was just enduring a slight fallout. The focus of that pressure was on Long Chen. 
Who knew how much pressure he was under? Long Chen coughed out a mouthful of blood. His bones were crackling under that pressure. It seemed as if his entire body's bones could break at any moment. That bastard was actually planning on using that pressure to force him to kneel. A dense killing intent surfaced from Long Chen's eyes. He bitterly supported himself. Even if he was crushed to death, he definitely wouldn't bend his knees. He also swore to himself that this old ghost better not let him get an opportunity, or today's humiliation would be returned to him a hundred times. As Long Chen was bitterly enduring and feeling as if his bones were about to break, a clear voice rang out, Elder Son, what are you doing? As soon as that voice rang out, Elder Son was greatly startled and hastily withdrew his pressure. At some point, Elder Tu Fang had appeared. As soon as that pressure disappeared, Long Chen would have collapsed to the ground if Tang Wan Er hadn't helped him stay standing. Long Chen was once again leaning on Tang Wan Er's beautiful body, but it most definitely wasn't him intentionally taking advantage of her. He was simply completely worn out. The pressure of an elder level expert was too frightening. Tang Wan Er's face was red, but she still held Long Chen up. She had no misjivings about that. A deep hatred of Elder Sun filled her heart. Reporting to Elder Tu Fang, Long Chen was making trouble in front of me refusing to comply with the law enforcers, even violently resisting, damaging the surrounding structures. Due to lack of a better choice, I was trying to capture him in order prevent him from causing greater destruction, respectfully said Elder Sun although they were both elders. Tu Fang was the one with the highest authority within the monastery, the enforcement elder. Oh, there was such a thing? What do you say Long Chen? Tu Fang turned to look at Long Chen. Elder Tu Fang, with your discerning eyes. I'm sure I don't need to explain such an obvious thing. Long Chen pointed to a footprint in the ground. That was the spot where he had provoked that cheating law enforcer who had faked his measurement. Putting Long Chen within the fighting prohibited region. He had long since set up that proof there. Leaving two clear footprints on the stone slab. Seeing that footprint. Both that law enforcer and senior apprentice brother Wu's expression sunk. They had never expected Long Chen to have left behind such evidence in secret. Their faces turned pale. Elder Tu Fang, don't believe a word from this brat. He purposely left that after you arrived in order to fake evidence. Hastily lied senior apprentice brother Wu. You can easily ask any of the observers to see if it's fake. Other than fighting with you after. I never step near that place again. Long Chen cupped his fists to the surrounding people. Fellow apprentice brothers and sisters. We're all newcomers. But now you've all seen these law enforcers abuse their power to oppress us newcomers. You don't need to lie. Just tell the truth that you saw, with the enforcement elder right here. Tell the truth about how these dregs use their cultivation base and authority to abuse their fellow disciples. Are you alright with being abused by the bottom feeders of the previous generation? As soon as he finished speaking, there were immediately people who walked out. I will testify that this footprint was exactly where Long Chen had been standing the entire time. Right. This powerful law enforcer used his iron chain and his powerful mid-tendon transformation cultivation base to force him back from there. It really is laughable. Sometimes I really doubt our senior apprentice brother's intelligence. Before fighting, Long Chen was clearly purposely standing there motionlessly. As for why, can you still not tell? Naturally these newcomers all possessed their own pride. In the past few days, they had been pushed around arrogantly by these law enforcers, causing them to feel some dislike for them. It wasn't that Long Chen had some amazing skill in inciting people's passions. The main thing was that they were already feeling displeasure towards these law enforcers. So they naturally wouldn't give up a chance to complain. Hearing everyone's ridicule, senior apprentice brother Wu's expression became exceedingly ugly. He angrily glared at those people testifying. Elder Tu Fang, look at that fellow's gaze. He's clearly preparing to get revenge on us who are just saying the truth. Please deliver justice Elder Tu Fang. This narrow-minded fellow is hatefully glaring at us. How could it be just to have such a person be a law enforcer? That's just a nightmare for us newcomers. A person immediately reported him. Senior apprentice brother Wu's face turned green from rage. Veins pulsed on his forehead. But he didn't dare raise his head to look at that person. Simply doing his best to remember that person's voice. He cursed inside. You new brats. Just wait. We'll have plenty of time together. He had also been a newcomer once. Back then he had also been put into his place by the previous generation's senior apprentice brothers. Now it had finally come to his turn to do the same. But the result was completely different. This group of brats were actually brazen enough to resist. Tu Fang looked at the footprint and icily asked, Who measured the distance? 
that law enforcer with the handprint on his face immediately became ashen. He took a step forward, reporting, me, as a law enforcer, you actually publicly defrauded others, entrapping those of your same sect gather your things and return to your family, sighed Elder Tu Fang. Everyone was shocked. Just like that, one of their senior apprentice brother would be expelled? That was too severe. Elder, I, that person was completely shocked. No need to say anything. As a member of the righteous path, you should act openly and upright. But your action just now is a grave offense. This is different from breaking the monastery's rules. Your conduct has already crossed into the corrupt path. The monastery cannot accept someone like you. If the monastery is still within your heart, reflect upon yourself once you return home on how to be an upright cultivator, said Tu Fang. That person sighed. He wanted to say something, but after stealthily glancing at senior apprentice brother Wu, he nodded and left. Wu Qi, you just came out of imprisonment less than a month ago. It seems you didn't properly reflect during that time, I silly said Tu Fang. Disciple accepts his mistake. Disciple was misled by others, causing him to act this way. Please give me your punishment elder. Senior apprentice brother Wu hastily admit he was wrong. You were not misled by anyone. I know, and you also know that. But according to the monastery's rules, there isn't enough proof. Which is your luck? Of course, luck is also a kind of strength. So I won't expel you. Although I suspect you used the authority the monastery bestowed upon you for personal vengeance. There is no proof. So you are very fortuitous. You did not personally go measure the distance before rashly taking action. You failed your obligations. So all the damage that was caused here today is your fault. Go to the law enforcement hall. Receive 500 canes and be imprisoned for a half a month. Order Tu Fang. When senior apprentice brother Wu heard 500 canes, he almost fainted. That was no walking cane, but a special cane made of golden wood. There was even poison on top of it. A light tap would cause enough pain to cause a person to cry. Usually the most severe punishment would only be 200 canes. For it to be 500 canes now, if he didn't die, he would definitely at least shed a layer of skin. But he knew that the law enforcement elder Tu Fang was like a mountain. If he didn't accept this, he would increase his punishment. He could only clench his teeth and lower his head. Elder Sun. Tu Fang looked at Elder Sun with a somewhat complicated expression. Yes. Elder Sun's heart shook slightly. He had a bad feeling. Go face the back of a mountain for seven days. I will find someone to take your place here, said Tu Fang. Yes, Elder Sun assented. Without saying anything else, he simply left. This time everyone, including Long Chen and Tang Wan Er, were flabbergasted. Elder Tu Fang really was a strict and impartial person, worthy of being the number one elder of the monastery. Elder Sun hadn't dared to say the slightest bit in the face of his punishment. Elder Tu Fang hadn't even had to give him a reason. This kind of incorruptible character was definitely something everyone, including Long Chen, admired deeply. Many thanks Elder for distinguishing right from wrong. So I won't bother you about your previous deceit against me. Long Chen cupped his fists. Haha, <laughs> then thank you. Tu Fang naturally knew Long Chen was talking about how he had tricked Chu Yao into going to the Skywood Palace. At that time there had also been no way around it for him. The Zhuanshan Monastery and the Skywood Palace had a friendly relationship. If he didn't help Hua Yu say anything, that wouldn't be excusable. Originally Tu Fang actually had been feeling quite guilty about that. He had been thinking that once Long Chen arrived at the monastery, he would perhaps give him some further help cultivating to make it up to him. But once he learned Long Chen was a divergent, that idea completely died. And due to his upright character, that matter truly was like a fishbone in his throat causing him to feel extremely uncomfortable. He hadn't expected Long Chen to just directly brush that matter away now. That definitely relaxed him greatly. He appreciated that Long Chen was a sensible youth. Since the matter had already passed and he and Chu Yao had already gone to different places, even if he decided to make this into a bigger issue, that already had no meaning. Seeing Long Chen dared to speak like this to Elder Tu Fang and for the usually serious Elder Tu Fang who never laughed to actually cheerfully accept his thanks. Everyone was completely stunned. This world really was crazy. Okay, everyone can proceed with their day. Elder Tu Fang waved his hand and left just like that. The stunned crowd could only look foolishly at Long Chen. Chapter 186 Receiving Rations Translator Born to be in the Zhuanshan Monastery an immortal cave had been built into the front of Skywood Mountain. From that place, one could look over the entire Zhuanshan Monastery, 
a scenery that stretched thousands of miles. Within the immortal cave, Tu Fang respectfully greeted Ling Yanzi, sect leader. Ling Yanzi stood at the front of the immortal cave, looking over the Zhuangshan Monastery. How is the situation lately? The current state is excellent, beyond our predictions. This time there were a total of 17 core disciples who passed, excitedly said Tu Fang. Normally only two or three core disciples would manage to pass each time. Even within all of their history, the greatest they had ever had at once was six core disciples. So it really was exciting for them to have so many this time. Furthermore, there are four who have revived their ancestral marks, said Tu Fang. Oh, that is some good news. Ling Yunzi's eyes brightened. That news also made him very happy. By awakening their ancestral mark, their cultivation speed would be much faster, surpassing their peers. They were definitely geniuses amongst geniuses. Right. How is Long Chen? Asked Ling Yunzi. Tu Fang smiled bitterly. If I had to describe him with one word, it would have to be terrifying. A jade tablet appeared in his hands, inserting his spiritual key. The entire scene of Long Chen fighting Gui Sha appeared. Not only was there that scene, there was also his sudden fight with the law enforcers. Everything had been recorded in there. Ling Yunzi nodded emotionally. Using terrifying to describe him really is perfect. He really is worthy of being an existence of legends, a paragon amongst the same realm. Perhaps even if he had only just broken through, he would be able to sweep away everyone amongst his generation. Cough. Ling Yunzi suddenly went through an intense coughing fit, a bit of blood flowing out of his mouth. Tu Fang was greatly alarmed. Sect leader, I'm fine. It's just that I seem to have underestimated the power of the heavenly Deus backlash. But it was definitely worth it, laughed Ling Yunzi proudly. Perhaps from ancient times to now, he had been the only one with the qualifications and the courage to dare confirm a divergence existence. Tu Fang was appalled. Ling Yunzi was someone who had stepped into the Xianchen realm. He had simply guessed Long Chen's identity and said divergent to confirm it. But in return, he had received such a huge backlash. That was too terrifying. There is something I am extremely worried about, said Tu Fang. What? I think Elder Zun Sun's Dao heart is no longer pure. He should have formed some greed and I don't know what to do about it. Elder Sun has already been in our monastery for over a hundred years. He is a powerful senior elder level combatant and has fought in our great battles several times. He has dedicated much to the monastery. What do you want to say? Ling Yunzi smiled slightly. I think he has placed a wicked intention on Long Chen. Should I stop him? Probingly asked Tu Fang. Why would you stop him? Asked Ling Yunzi. Huh? If I don't stop him, then Long Chen, there's no need. All you need to do is your own job. Let everything come naturally. But that's extremely harmful to Long Chen. Tu Fang was an upright person and he didn't like to see any despicable acts take place. Tu Fang, do you know why a peak expert is able to become an expert? He cannot be lacking in one thing. What thing? A whetstone. Ling Yunzi looked out into the distance. Tu Fang immediately understood Ling Yunzi's meaning, but he shook his head. This whetstone might be a bit too big for Long Chen. Ling Yunzi smiled. Tu Fang, I understand your character. I know you like that child Long Chen. He definitely has a convincing charismatic charm, but he's not the same as others. His path is not the same as normal people. His path is one that will end up destroyed by the heavenly deos or overturning all of heaven and earth. If you really want to do what's good for him, don't interfere with his growth. That will not only not help him, it will infect you with karma. Overturn all of heaven and earth? Tu Fang's heart tightened. He felt an intense sensation of fear. That kind of terror didn't come from anywhere. It came directly from the core of his heart. He couldn't help raising his head to look up into the heavens. Not bad. Your perception of the heavenly deos is becoming increasingly keener. Your distance from the Xianchen realm is closing every day. Congratulations. Smiled Ling Yunzi. Many thanks sect leader for the reminder. Tu Fang understands. He respectfully thanked him. Ling Yunzi nodded. Looking into the distance. He thought to himself what an honor it was to be able to personally watch a divergence towering rise. Once Tu Fang left. Long Chen was uneasy being stared at by everyone and began to walk to the Zhuangshan Pavilion with Tang Wan Er. Please wait a moment senior brother Long. Suddenly two people walked over to him. Both their auras were extremely formidable. The surrounding people didn't dare approach too close to them. This was because their auras were extremely unstable and berserk from having just advanced to the Tendon Transformation Realm. They still were unable to control their auras, causing it to spill out on its own. Long Chen stiffened. No way right? 
Was there really someone finding trouble for him again just after he finished a fight? Was there no intermission? Ah, don't misunderstand senior brother Long. Just now we saw your incomparable divine strength and that convincing bearing so we wanted to get acquainted, explained the man with a very bushy brow. The other one looked a bit frailer, but his aura was still extremely domineering. He said, Senior Brother Long's imposing manner that does not fear heaven or earth really causes admiration. Although everyone in the monastery is a competition, that doesn't prevent us from becoming friends. Even if we can't become friends, having such a powerful rival is also a good thing. Although that person seemed frail, he had a heroic mannerism deep within him, and hearing him speak made people feel comfortable inside. Long Chen smiled. You honor me with your words. If it weren't for Elder Tu Fang helping, I would already have been turned into dog meat. Both of them laughed. Long Chen's combat strength was so great, but he spoke so candidly without the slightest arrogance. Let me introduce myself. I am Song Mingyuan, and he's Li Qi, said the bushy-browed man. Long Chen smiled. Well then I won't say any nonsense greeting about what an honor it is to meet you and etc. In any case, you both already know my name. Song Mingyuan and Li Qi couldn't hold back a laugh at that. Long Chen's manner of speaking was quite interesting, both humorous and not lacking in elegance. He spoke extremely effortlessly. Let me give you guys a grand introduction. This is our Heaven Earth Faction's old boss. Ah, our Heaven Earth Faction's leader, the number one martial beauty, Sister Tang Wan Er. Long Chen almost slipped up and called her the wrong name again. Tang Wan Er was a bit red. She was still not used to that unfamiliar appellation, but she still forced herself to smile. Hello. Sister Tang Wan Er's grand name is already extremely well known. To revive the ancestral mark during the trial, it really causes admiration. Courteously said Li Qi. At the very beginning they hadn't known who she was, but as soon as she had summoned her wind blades to fight against those law enforcers, revealing her powerful runic power, they had immediately realized who she was. With Sister Tang Wan Er and Brother Long Chen, the Heaven Earth faction will definitely stand out amongst all the factions, praised Song Mingyuan. Both Long Chen and Tang Wan Er politely chatted with them for a while. They learned the two of them were core disciples. Song Mingyuan's faction was called the Brotherhood Guild and Li Qi's faction was called the White Cloud Pavilion. Both parties asked about which mountain the others were on, agreeing to visit when they had an opportunity. They even invited Long Chen to come over to drink when he had time. After politely saying some final words, Li Qi very sensibly made an excuse about needing to do something else and brought away Song Mingyuan. They had already received their own rations and exchanged them for what they wanted, so they didn't need to spend more time there. Only then did Long Chen and Tang Wan Er walk into the Zhuanshan Pavilion. Long Chen saw that inside it was very spacious. There was a winding staircase going downstairs. There was also a large lounge with many people around. They were all lined up, and there was someone busily recording things. That should be the place to receive the monthly rations. But Long Chen saw that other than that busy spot, there was also another counter without a single person lined up. There was only a single woman quietly sitting there. Long Chen and Tang Wan Er walked over there. Tang Wan Er handed over her badge to that woman. Sister, can I receive my rations here? That woman examined the badge and then nodded to Tang Wan Er. Yes, in accordance to the monastery rules, you can take out 100 spirit stones and 50,000 points here. Furthermore, as faction leader, you can also take out 100,000 points for your faction's usage. Here are a total of 150,000 points as well as 100 spirit stones. Long Chen's jaw dropped. An outer disciple was only able to get one spirit stone and 500 points. Inner disciples could obtain three spirit stones and 2,000 points. But core disciples could obtain 100 spirit stones and 50,000 points. That difference was huge. Although he still didn't know what usage those points had exactly, he could guess that they were a kind of currency within the monastery. Furthermore, it was a currency that would never depreciate. No wonder Tang Wan Er would risk her life to help him obtain a core disciple position. This difference was far too great. He now felt more regret about that bastard Gui Sha. He cursed 18 generations of his ancestors, cursing how wicked he was. Tang Wan Er quickly received a bag. Inside were 100 neatly stacked, bright and sparkling spirit stones. Spirit stones were incredibly rare and precious. They had to be nourished for hundreds of thousands of years underground before they could crystallize spiritual key. The amount of spiritual key inside was absolutely shocking. They were priceless treasures in the outer world. Tang Wan Er happily put those spirit stones into her ring. A recess in her badge lit up with a couple numbers. 
The badge wasn't just a proof of status, but it was also a tool used for storing your points. It was similar to the crystal cards found in the outer world. Points could be directly taken out, put in, transferred, etc. Furthermore there was no transaction fee. Sister, can I also receive my rations? Thank you. Long Chen also courteously handed over his badge. That woman indifferently glanced at him. This spot is only for core disciples to obtain their rations. You need to line up there. Long Chen sighed bitterly. That line practically had no end. Long Chen had been hoping try to get some special treatment with Tang Wan'er by his side. Unfortunately, this woman didn't even pay any attention to him. Now closing her eyes and resting. As for Tang Wan'er, she was impishly laughing at him. Long Chen angrily rolled his eyes. He obediently lined up. After more than two hours, Long Chen finally received his own meager rations. He then followed Tang Wan'er down to the next floor. That was a place to buy things. They only just reached that first level when Long Chen heard a familiar voice, causing him to smile. Chapter 187 Gathering Medicinal Ingredients Translator Born to be the first level's lounge was extremely spacious. There was at least thousands of meters of space. This open space was brightly lit up, appearing extremely luxurious. The large lounge was filled entirely with sales counters. There were all sorts of medicinal pills offered here. This first level was actually the medicinal pill lounge. Hundreds of maidens were handling customers now. Most of those customers were newcomers as well. As soon as they had received their points, they prepared to spend them. You could buy anything within the Zhuanshan Monastery with points. Of course, that was on the precondition that you had enough points. As soon as they entered the lounge, Long Chen saw a familiar figure, Guo Ran. He was in front of one of the sales counters and asking the woman inside, What is this thing's price? That woman glanced at that medicinal pill and indifferently said, 200 points. Damn, what is with that price? Guo Ran was completely shocked. He pointed to the medicinal pill beside it. What about that one? Still indifferently looking at Guo Ran, she opened her hand, using her five fingers to clearly emphasize, five dams. Guo Ran was stunned. He was about to say more when a tinkling laugh rang out behind him. He turned to see that Tang Wan'er was laughing at him with Long Chen. Cough. Boss. Faction boss. How come you've come here? Guo Ran asked with some embarrassment. Don't call me boss. Call me faction leader. Tang Wan'er obviously didn't like that unsophisticated title. Yes faction leader Wan'er. Quickly said Guo Ran. Guo Ran. How long have you been here? What's your feeling about this place? Asked Long Chen. Guo Ran bitterly said. Ah, don't even talk about it. I've circulated around here for four hours. Everything here is too expensive. With my ration, I can only buy some garbage pills. Guo Ran had previous already received his rations. He had wanted to spend them, but as soon as he arrived here he had been stupefied. He was practically a beggar who had come to a gold shop. His few points were unable to buy anything good. But Guo Ran was extremely smart. He first went through the entire lounge. Basically having asked the price of every medicinal pill. By doing that, he finally met someone who had been angered. That way he could confront and haggle with them. But it was just at that point that Long Chen and Tang Wan'er had come. I was hoping to buy a tendon firming pill here. But that pill requires 650 points. I don't have enough points. Dejectedly explained Guo Ran. He had just advanced to the tendon transformation realm and his aura was still unstable. If he wanted to quickly stabilize. The tendon firming pill was a must-have. The tendon firming pill was perfect for those who had just broken through to the tendon transformation realm. It could quickly help them increase their strength and consolidate their realm. Without the tendon firming pill, it would take two to three months to completely consolidate the realm. But with it, one could drastically cut down on that time. It would only take 10 to 15 days to completely stabilize. That saved a cultivator's precious time, and it was a must-have for the newcomers. I've haggled with the sellers for half a day but they just won't relent. They won't make it even the slightest bit cheaper for me. It really infuriates me. Angrily grieved Guo Ran. As he said that, the maiden behind the sales counter unhappily said, You're wrong. We're only in charge of selling. We don't have the authority to give you a discount. Furthermore, what kind of place do you think this place is? A food market? You want to haggle? The fact that none of us have thrown you out after you wasted so much of our time here is already giving you enough face. You, Guo Ran scowled. Sorry, this brother of mine has been in a bad mood recently. Let me take his place to apologize. Smiled Long Chen. Only then did that maiden's expression become a bit better. She also smiled slightly. 
showing she wasn't actually angry. Long Chen pulled away the still angrily puffing Guo Ran away. Tang Wan Er laughed. Guo Ran, I finally understand why the two of you have become brothers. You two are both definitely weirdos. You wanted to haggle over prices here. I was just doing that to display my dissatisfaction, letting the monastery hear us newcomers' thoughts. The monthly rations are unable to even buy a tendon firming pill. Aren't they just intentionally toying with us for fun? Guo Ran still couldn't accept this. The monastery's rules all have reasons behind them. Since you're all members of my faction, the faction will think of some method. You don't need to be so worried. Now that everyone has just advanced to the tendon transformation realm, the tendon firming pill is something we must buy. It's also the main reason I came here. At 650 a pill with 79 people, we'll need 51,350 points. For just one pill, we'll need to use up half the faction's ration. Long Chen was somewhat speechless. The monastery's prices really were ruthless. Tang Wan Er shook her head. We don't have 79 people, but 100. Oh? How do we have 100 people? Asked Long Chen. There were originally 100 people, but now only 79 remained. Each faction can have a total of 100 people. The empty spots can be filled with fresh blood. If we don't, we'll end up losing in terms of numbers. In a bit you guys can come with me to find some fresh talent, explained Tang Wan Er. Guo Ran nodded, but Long Chen was lost in thought. Looking around, his eyes suddenly brightened. There's a place to buy medicinal ingredients. Guo Ran nodded. Yes, two-third of this lounge is taken up by all kinds of medicinal ingredients. The other third is taken up by essentially only a couple dozen kinds of medicinal pills. Long Chen's heart shook. Walking over to the section with medicinal ingredients, we walked a lap and found there were over 10,000 kinds of medicinal ingredients, delighting him. Although he only scanned quickly, he saw several of the ingredients necessary for the alias pill. Wan Er, do you trust me? Long Chen solemnly looked at Tang Wan Er. What nonsense is that? Of course I trust you. Tang Wan Er was a bit surprised and puzzled. Long Chen smiled. Then that's good. Lend me 60,000 points and within three days, I'll give you 100 tendon firming pills. Both Tang Wan Er and Guo Ran's eyes widened in disbelief. Guo Ran stuttered. Boss, you aren't thinking of. Yup. I'll refine the tendon firming pill myself. I took a look around and saw that the ingredients for it aren't that expensive. 100 pills worth of ingredients is only just over 8,000 points. If I refine them myself, we'll be able to save a great deal of points, said Long Chen. But, the tendon firming pill is a third-tier medicinal pill, exclaimed Guo Ran. The current me is still unable to refine third-tier medicinal pills, so I'll need to first buy a couple other ingredients to help me accomplish a certain thing, and then I'll be able to refine the tendon firming pill, confidently said Long Chen. His current pill flame wasn't enough for him to refine a third-tier medicinal pill. Without a mighty enough pill flame, it was impossible to completely purify the medicinal ingredients, and thus it was impossible to form the pill. But in his spatial ring was the flame Salamander's Needon. As long as he absorbed that, he would have a third-rank beast flame. Then adding on his powerful spiritual strength and the abundant spiritual key in his Feng Fu star, it would be no problem for him to refine third-tier medicinal pills despite him not advancing into the tendon transformation realm. Furthermore, Long Chen saw that the tendon firming pills that were offered here were all only middle grade, not high grade. Such a tendon firming pill wasn't especially good. It would require at least 15 days to stabilize their realm with such a pill. But Long Chen's goal was high-grade tendon firming pills. Such a pill could allow them to completely stabilize their realm in just 7 to 10 days. That would allow all of them to save many days time. With the fierce competition in the monastery, time was money. Each extra day they cultivated was another portion of strength they could compete with for more resources. So not only would that greatly increase everyone's cultivation speed, but it would also save them many points. By saving those points, Long Chen could buy the ingredients for the 10,000 beast essence blood. Then he could later go out to hunt magical beasts and make the 10,000 beast essence blood, allowing him to quickly advance his cultivation base. His fight with senior apprentice brother Wu had given Long Chen an extreme sense of danger. It was lucky they had been interrupted before Wu Qi had released his last attack. If he hadn't appeared, Long Chen would have had to summon his Feng Fu battle armor to take that blow. The Feng Fu battle armor was his final trump card. But from the very start, Wu Qi had not used any battle skills and had merely used his tendon transformation cultivation base to suppress Long Chen. Long Chen knew that in a true fight, he would not be a match for Wu Qi. 
Furthermore, he also sensed danger from that Elder Son although he didn't know why Elder Son would target him. He definitely couldn't be careless. He couldn't entrust his life to the monastery. If he wanted to control his own life, he needed an accordingly high strength. So he urgently needed to get stronger. He didn't have the pill formula for the tendon firming pills that were sold here. But in his soul's memories was an even better formula that could also stabilize the realm. The effect would be even better. You can decide yourself. I trust you. Tang Wan Er smiled. Taking out her medal, she pressed a couple things and put it on top of Long Chen's badge. The number on top of Long Chen's badge immediately leapt up. The original 500 immediately became 100,500. This, Long Chen was startled. Tang Wan Er had given him all the faction's points. Since I've chosen to trust you, I'll trust you completely. From today onwards, you can be the executive manager of the faction, laughed Tang Wan Er. Holding the badge, a warm feeling flowed within him. Being trusted by others truly was a good feeling. He was actually speechless. Cough, boss, should I quietly leave at this time? Awkwardly said Guo Ran. Tang Wan Er reddened and she turned away, but she also didn't say anything. Long Chen glared at Guo Ran. You know too much. In accordance to the formula in his memories, Long Chen quickly found the ingredients he needed. It went without saying that the monastery's treasure house contained a very large collection, at least hundreds of times greater than the Alchemist Guild. After he bought everything he needed for the tendon firming pills as well as what he needed to absorb the flame salamanders needed, over 30,000 of his 100,000 points had flown away. Just as Long Chen was planning on returning home to refine the flame salamanders needed, Tang Wan Er pulled him back. Chapter 188 Absorbing the Needon Translator Born to be the first level of the Zhuanshan Pavilion was filled with medicinal ingredients and pills. But the second level was filled with various battle skills and cultivation techniques. But after arriving at the second level, they saw it was mostly devoid of people. There were just over ten white-robed senior apprentice brothers guarding this level. Bookshelves covered the walls. Each bookshelf separated from the others and filled with secret tomes. Below the tomes were an introduction of the technique as well as its price. Long Chen gasped when he saw the prices. 76,800. That was an earth-class battle skill. But of course the Zhuanshan Monastery's collected battle skills were all first rate. A completely different level from the three-style parting wind Long Chen had learned. But even so, this price was far too excessive. Tang Wan'er also shook her head. It was no wonder there was no one here. Everything was far too expensive. In their present circumstances, there was no way for them to buy anything good. Their current points had to be used to raise the collective power of the faction. They couldn't just waste it all on one person. If they did, then their faction would drop in power in comparison to the others. In their future competitions, they would be oppressed and end up losing out. Tang Wan Er herself also possessed 50,000 points for her own usage. But even that many points were unable to buy anything she needed. It would be better for her to just save them to use later. Those senior apprentice brothers guarding this place only indifferently glanced over at them without saying anything. Obviously the kind of shock they had displayed was already a common occurrence for them. Looks like we came for nothing, sighed Tang Wan Er. Let's just take a look, smiled Long Chen. He started to rove around the bookshelves, finding many secret techniques that had mostly all reached the early Earth class. There were also several mid-grade Earth class battle skills, but Long Chen didn't even bother looking at them. That was because those tomes had prices in the hundred thousands. Long Chen wasn't even paying attention to what level the battle skill or technique was. He was only looking at their prices. If it was only in the ten thousands, he would read the introduction. All the lower priced ones were just a couple secret techniques or arts. They weren't true battle skills. And their class was also not high despite their prices still not being that low. Suddenly Long Chen's eyes brightened as he stopped before one shelf. Spiritual space opening art. I finally found it. Long Chen celebrated. He had really found what he had been looking for. Opening a spiritual space was a fundamental skill of beast tamers. Using their spiritual strength, they would open a special space to store their house but so that they could carry them around at all times. There were no such secret techniques circulating within the secular world. Long Chen had searched for a long time within Phoenix Cry without finding any. And back when Lu Fanger had sent Little Snow to him. She had been limited by her sect's rules and couldn't give him a true inheritance. And so Long Chen had been unable to learn this technique up till this day. With Long Chen's spiritual strength, he had long since met the requirements to be able to open a spiritual space. Once he did, 
he would be able to keep Little Snow by his side without anyone being able to argue. The price was 63,000 points. Long Chen really wanted to hatefully spit on the ground at that price. This was an entry-level technique that was only for beast tamers, but it was already so expensive. He had seen shameless people before, but he had never seen such a shameless price. Tang Wan'er looked at it and curiously asked Long Chen, You want to learn this? Long Chen nodded. Yup. Tang Wan'er smiled. Then go ahead. We still have enough points. I still haven't touched my own. Thank you. Just let me take care of the Heaven Earth faction. Gratefully thanked Long Chen. Long Chen was using their faction's points to buy personal items. But opening a spiritual space was extremely important to him. Once he did, he would have a powerful helper by his side. At that time he would have another status. Beast Tamer. When he fought with others, he could call out Little Snow to fight with him. Even if people were jealous about it, it was useless. That was because without a spiritual connection to a magical beast, it was impossible to absorb them into your spiritual space. And that was why the other disciples' magical beasts could only count as mounts. While Long Chen and Little Snow had a houseput agreement between them, it was just that Long Chen hadn't placed a slave imprint into Little Snow. But with their spiritual connection, it was no different from a contract. Now that everyone had advanced to tendon transformation, Long Chen had immediately become one of the lower leveled members. But if he had Little Snow with him, although he might not leap to the top, he definitely wouldn't be oppressed by anyone. I'm really not used to you being so polite. In any case, you're the executive manager in charge of the Heaven Earth faction. If our Heaven Earth faction's power ends up dropping, he, well I'll be coming to you for blame, laughed Tang Wan Er. Don't worry boss, I will do my fullest. Long Chen put on a great act of saluting. Tang Wan Er merely hit him a bit in rebuke. Move on from your wackiness. At this point someone walked over to them. He gave Long Chen a reminder. This thing isn't very useful. Are you sure you want to buy this? If you know it's not useful, then why is it so expensive? But Long Chen knew that these senior apprentice brothers didn't have anything to do with the prices. Long Chen nodded. I'll have to trouble senior apprentice brother. That person took Long Chen's badge. Seeing his points sharply drop, Long Chen's heart dripped blood. Taking back the badge, that person opened the shelf and took out a jade tablet from beneath the tome. Handing it to Long Chen, he said, This is a spirit jade tablet. Inside is the information of the tome. The content will only remain in the jade for three days. If you still haven't learned it after three days, you can come get a new one here one more time. But if you fail to learn it twice, then you won't get any further help. Long Chen nodded. If you really couldn't learn it after two tries then you really were useless. He suspected the second opportunity was most likely there only for those who lost or damaged the tablets. After saying thanks, the three of them didn't waste any more time there. Seeing things they wanted but not being able to buy them was a kind of torment. Although Tang Wan'er hadn't touched her personal points, as the leader, she had to at least keep some savings in reserve. The faction's points had basically all been used up by Long Chen. Tang Wan'er didn't even dare look at anything else for fear that she wouldn't be able to control herself. Once the three of them walked out of the Zhuanshan Pavilion, Tang Wan'er told Long Chen, We'll go get some new talent to make up the numbers. Currently our faction has 79 members, so we can get 21 more. We must get top elites. During the trial, there were a great deal of people who hadn't joined any faction yet managed to pass. Most of those are only outer disciples with only a couple rare inner disciples. But even 21 outer disciples will be able to boost our strength. Long Chen said, you and Guo Ran go get more people. I have to hurry up and prepare to refine medicinal pills. We can't stall the matter of increasing everyone's strength. Also, when you go get new members, it isn't strength that is important. Perseverance and determination are the most important things. Also, they definitely must be loyal. And also, if you end up finding someone as weird as Guo Ran, don't let him join. Just having one such person in our faction is enough. Guo Ran was speechless while Tang Wan Er laughed. She brought Guo Ran over to the Zhuanshan Plaza. That was where the majority of the people who had yet to join a faction were. Long Chen directly returned to the Immortal Cave. Seeing King Yu was present, he told her to go the plaza as well to help recruit people. After all, those recruits would be their eternal companions, so it was extremely important to pick properly. Having more people helping out with the recruitment would be best. Once King Yu left, Long Chen took out his pill furnace as well as a large pile of medicinal ingredients. Extending his hand, a light red flame soared into existence. It's been a while since I've refined pills. 
I better not screw up. I only got one set of ingredients. Once he finished warming the furnace, he increased his flame strength, beginning to slowly place the medicinal ingredients in the pill furnace. What gladdened Long Chen was that his alchemy art seemed to have sunk deep within his bones. He was not the slightest bit out of practice, and because his cultivation base had risen, his spiritual strength had also increased, allowing him to have even greater control than before. Two hours later, he lifted the lid and saw a long and sized medicinal pill. That medicinal pill didn't have any luster. It looked like a rusted old ball of copper, but Long Chen smiled. This fire gathering pill's quality is not bad. Putting away the fire gathering pill, he once more began refining medicinal ingredients, but this time he wasn't refining pills, but a kind of medicinal liquid. That medicinal liquid was red as blood and was strangely viscous. Only once that liquid changed color three times did Long Chen stop his flame. Once the medicinal liquid in his pill furnace cooled off, Long Chen took out the flame salamander's needon and gently began to drip drops of that liquid onto the needon. The egg-shaped needon began to crazily absorb the medicinal liquid. Its original white color began to darken into a blood red. As the needon's color changed, a terrifying heat began to circulate within it. By the time all the medicinal liquid had been absorbed, the needon had become extremely bright. The fluctuations coming from within it were incredibly intense, like a volcano on the verge of erupting. Okay. The fire attribute energy has been completely activated. I hope I can manage to absorb the runic power within it as well. Long Chen hesitated a moment, and then decided to leave the immortal cave. Closing the door, he hurried to the back of the mountain. Finding a secluded place, he took out the needon and swallowed the fire gathering pill he had just refined. As soon as that medicinal pill entered his stomach, it immediately dissolved. A light heat flowed through his meridians. Long Chen looked within him and saw his meridians had been plated with a layer of gold. It was a protective membrane for the insides of his meridians. That was why Long Chen had never absorbed the flame salamander's need and up to this point. Even someone as powerful as him didn't dare absorb it without this medicinal pill's assistance. A flame salamander's need and whose energy had barely been used at all contained a flame that could heavily injure his meridians. It was a third rank magical beast's beast flame and it was also number 97 on the Beast Flame rankings. Long Chen didn't dare be careless. Furthermore, what Long Chen wanted wasn't just the Beast Flame. He wanted something even stronger than a regular Beast Flame. Taking a deep breath, he adjusted himself into his peak state, placing his hands atop the Flame Salamander's Needon. He began to circulate his spiritual key, absorbing the violent energy within the Needon. Chapter 189 Flame Salamander's Blue Flame Translator Born to be a current of practically burning lava rapidly flowed from his hands into his meridians. Boom. When that current entered his meridians, it was like salt water had met fresh water, causing violent surges that filled him with pain. He continued to control the speed at which the energy was flowing into him. If he let that terrifying energy directly flood into his body, his meridians would immediately burst. His Feng Fu star was quickly circulating, and his enormous spiritual key was pouring out. It controlled the speed at which the Needon's energy flowed into his body. He needed to let his meridians gradually become accustomed to that violent heat. The Needon was the spot where all the flame salamander's energy had been stored over its lifetime. If the Needon were to explode, that terrifying energy would be able to immediately exterminate several third-rank magical beasts. And despite his slow absorption speed, Long Chen still found the pain difficult to endure. That terrifying heat was constantly roasting his meridians. There was also a violent key that was constantly circulating around. That key possessed an instinctive destructive will that wanted to burn everything. It was good that Long Chen had made enough preparations. With the fire gathering pill, he had a layer of protection over his meridians that prevented that energy from harming them. He also celebrated that he had just advanced to the seventh heaven stage, allowing his meridians to grow even stronger. Otherwise even with the fire gathering pill's protection, he might have already failed. All things were difficult at the start, but once you managed to get past the beginning, the rest would be comparatively easier. Long Chen continued to absorb the Needon's energy. There was an incredible amount of energy within it, and Long Chen didn't dare increase his absorption speed, and so it took a full six hours for him to completely absorb it. By the time all that energy was absorbed, the original beast flame inside the Needon had also disappeared. All that energy that had been within the Needon was now within Long Chen's meridians. In reality, that energy was the flame salamander's core flame. The flame salamander was incredibly strong, most likely even beyond Long Chen's imagination. 
If the flame salamander hadn't been weakened by birth that time, he really would have been screwed. Now the flame salamander's core flame was surging within Long Chen's meridians. Long Chen's spiritual strength slowly erased its berserk nature. The flame salamander's core flame didn't actually have any consciousness. By using a gentle, stealthy method, he managed to easily erase that destructive will without worrying about a backlash. Once the core flame's will had been erased, Long Chen took a deep breath. Now was the real test. Condense. Energy surged out of his Feng Fu star, entering into the furthest reaches of his meridians and driving the beast flame to the center. Having lost its will, the beast flame followed as energy surging towards his danshan. Boom. All the scattered beast flame collided together. Long Chen coughed up blood, his face completely pale. Damn. I failed. I just knew my luck was crap. Long Chen gasped for breath. That attempt just now had completely exhausted him. Unfortunately, he had failed to accomplish what he had wanted. Although I failed, I saw a flicker of the rune. That means there's still a chance. Long Chen wanted to use a fierce collision of the beast flame to obtain the flame salamander's own rune. As a fire attribute magical beast whose beast flame was ranked 97th on the beast flame rankings, it possessed its own bloodline inheritance. Such a magical beast's need and contained its runic power, but that kind of rune was unusable by humans. Long Chen was hoping to have the beast flame collide within his body. During that chaotic explosion, he would be able to grab onto the runic power. That was only possible because the need and he had managed to obtain had barely lost any of its energy back then. As long as Long Chen caused its energy to erupt out, he was able to see that rune. The fire gathering pill he had consumed didn't just have the purpose of protecting his meridians. Its main ability was to gather every single bit of flame energy together. If others did this, their danshan would explode. But Long Chen didn't have to worry about that since his danshan was empty. Again, boom, boom, boom. He coughed up blood time after time. He felt that his body was about to collapse. But there was one thing that allowed him to continue. That was because every time he collided the beast flame, he saw the rune becoming clearer and clearer. However, that rune would only appear for the briefest instance. That moment wasn't long enough for him to take control of it. Boom. Wait a sec. Uh, I failed again. With another explosion, the rune appeared again, this time extremely clearly. Long Chen attempted to use his spiritual strength to link up to that rune, but the flame energy scattered too quickly, causing the rune to also disappear. Ugh, I need a break. Long Chen was absolutely exhausted. Coughing up mouthfuls of blood wasn't something to worry about with his powerful physical body, but driving the flame into huge collisions greatly exhausted his spiritual strength. That was especially true at the moment of collision. He would exhaust 10 times the spiritual strength in an attempt to link up to that rune when it appeared. He had already attempted this over 10 times. Even though his body was able to continue, his soul was not. He had a splitting headache now, quickly consuming a spirit stabilizing pill. He focused on recovering his spiritual energy. Two hours later, at least part of his spiritual strength had recovered. This time I'll definitely succeed. Although each time he had failed, he had accumulated more and more experience. He was much more sure of himself than at the beginning. Once more driving the scattered beast flame in his meridians towards his danshan. This time he used several times more intensity than before. B-O-O-O-M. When the beast flame collided inside his danshan, terrifying energy exploded out. A rune immediately appeared within that fierce blaze. Quick. Quick. Get over here. Buzz. Suddenly his mind shook. A strange fluctuation came from his spirit. An imprint appeared in the deepest part of his soul. I succeeded. Long Chen opened his eyes, extending his hand, a blue flame rose, although it was only just a foot long, that terrifying heat caused all the surrounding grass three meters around him to dry up, Long Chen slowly closed his eyes, taking a deep breath, a fluctuation came from the depths of his spirit, he once more opened his eyes, boom, the flame in his hand pulsed and a clear rune appeared in the flame, when that rune appeared, the surrounding grass immediately became ashes, Everything around him in an area of dozens of meters was now chaired black. Haha, <laughs> I succeeded. I, the world suddenly spun around him. Exhaustion battered him, and he immediately fainted. When he once more woke up, he was lying in bed. You've finally woken up. What the hell were you doing? You were covered in black ashes when I found you. Tang Wanner walked over with a wet towel. He, I was doing a grand experiment. Long Chen was extremely pleased. You almost burnt yourself to death. Don't tell me you were experimenting with barbecue, laughed Tang Wanur, moving to wipe his face. Long Chen was given a fright and hastily took the towel. 
I think I'll do that myself. I really would be embarrassed to trouble the faction leader with such a thing. Tang Wan reddened slightly. She sniffed. You also get embarrassed? When we carried you back, you were like a little beggar. If it weren't for both me and Sister King Yu, do you think you would be so clean? Long Chen was startled, realizing his clothes had been changed. He hastily checked his clothes, immediately feeling relief when he saw his original clothes were just underneath. Scoundrel, what's with that expression? Tang Wan'er gave his elbow a pinch. His expression really was annoying. Wan'er, you're bullying Long Chen again. At this time King Yu walked over. She had just happened to see the scene of Long Chen grimacing in pain. Sister King Yu, why do you always take his side? He's clearly the one bullying me. Tang Wan'er felt somewhat wronged. She also sighed inside. Why was this scoundrel's luck always so good? Whenever she got the advantage, King Yu would always immediately appear. Long Chen laughed mischievously. Sister King Yu, you've misunderstood. I was just playing a joke with Wan'er. Tang Wan'er glanced at Long Chen with some relief. At least this brat knew how to talk. Right. What time is it? It's not what time, but what day. You were asleep for two days. It's the afternoon of the third day. Answered Tang Wan'er. What? I slept for two days. Long Chen was shocked. He hastily leapt out of bed. Wan'er and Sister King Yu. Close the door and activate the spirit stone formation to the max. What are you planning on doing? Tang Wan'er said blankly. Don't ask. Just do it. Long Chen walked into the lounge and arranged all the medicinal ingredients he had bought as well as his pill furnace. Tang Wan'er and King Yu followed Long Chen's instructions, closing the stone door and activating the spirit stone formation to the max. Normally the door was only kept open when not cultivating in order to prevent wastage. The spirit stone formation was also normally kept unactivated. That was to prolong the lifespan of the spirit stones. If their room's spirit stone formation was activated to the maximum level, the eight spirit stones would only have enough energy to last six hours. If they calculated it like that, Tang Wan'er only had enough spirit stones for half a month's usage. And so they saved as much of it as possible. When they activated the spirit stone formation, the enormous spiritual key from the spirit stones began to be quickly released. The entire immortal cave was immediately filled with dense spiritual key. Long Chen, are you planning on refining pills? King Yu was a bit puzzled. Yup. Long Chen nodded as he confirmed all the medicinal ingredients. He ordered the medicinal ingredients into a set sequence. That way it would be more convenient while he refined and he wouldn't have to be worry about grabbing the wrong medicinal ingredient. Then should we leave? Probingly asked Tang Wan'er. Although she didn't know alchemy, all the alchemists she knew never let allowed anyone disturb them while refining. Note. Actually, I'll need your help in a bit, laughed Long Chen. After saying that, he extended his hand. A blue flame rose from his palm, lighting up the entire immortal cave. It was time to test his harvest. He hoped it wouldn't disappoint him. Chapter 190 Refining Tendon Firming Pills Translator Born to be when the blue flame rose from Long Chen's palm. The entire immortal cave was lit up gorgeously and warmly. What a beautiful flame. Tang Wan'er was bewitched by that flame. That was the first time she had ever seen such a beautiful flame. It looked just like a ball of blazing water. Long Chen smiled slightly. After he had gained control over the beast flame's rune, his control over it had risen greatly. He could control it smoothly with just a thought and wouldn't need to use too much spiritual strength. That previous flame leopard beast flame he had required him to use his spiritual strength to keep it suppressed. It was like a disobedient animal. If he didn't keep it suppressed, it would attack him. But now that he controlled his new beast flame's rune, the beast flame had now essentially accepted Long Chen as its master and wouldn't resist him at all. As for his control over the power and rhythm of the flame, naturally it was now completely smooth and effortless. Long Chen even praised himself a bit inside. This kind of crazy accomplishment was something only a genius could have thought of. But of course, only if that crazy idea paid off would that person be a genius. If they failed, then they would be called madmen. So in this world, geniuses and madmen were all cut from the same cloth. They were only differentiated by their luck. Tang Wan'er and King Yu were quietly watching. This was the first time they had ever seen someone refine pills. That was because alchemists didn't like to have others around them when refining. One reason was because they were afraid of being disturbed, but the other was because they were afraid of others secretly learning their techniques. Long Chen of course didn't care about that last one in the slightest. He was completely focused, slowly warming the furnace. That was an extremely fundamental step. If the furnace wasn't gradually heated up, at the final moment there was the danger of a furnace explosion. 
Heating it up first would also extend the pill furnace's lifespan. Once the pill furnace's temperature rose to the right level, Long Chen began to throw in the medicinal ingredients. Controlling the flame, he refined out their pure essence. This part was very dependent on skill. The strength of the flame had to be just right, and the alchemist also had to be experienced and knowledgeable about the heat required by the medicinal ingredients. If the flame was too weak, it would require a longer time to refine. But more importantly, part of the essence would be lost due to that extended time. And of course if the flame was too strong and surpassed the medicinal ingredients heat limit, it would immediately turn to ashes and your work would have been for nothing. But all that was nothing to Long Chen who possessed a pill god's memories. When it came to knowledge of the critical temperatures of medicinal ingredients, there was no one in this world who surpassed him. Now that he controlled the flame salamander's beast flame's rune, this blue flame was no different at all to his core flame. With his powerful spiritual strength, he could control it down to the finest detail. His refining speed was extremely fast. After refining a couple of the medicinal ingredients into powder, he told Tang Wanner and King Yu to take out a clean piece of glazed paper and place the medicinal powders on top of it. Once they cooled off, he gave them specific proportions to split them into and to them wrap them up. As they carefully followed his instructions, he refined the second set of medicinal ingredients. They had only just accomplished his task when he finished refining the second set. He had them keep this set of medicinal ingredients separate from the rest and to wrap them up as well. This repeated itself seven times before Long Chen finished refining all the medicinal ingredients. Long Chen was still completely fine, but it was actually Tang Wanner and King Yu who were sweating. That was because they were too nervous. After all, these were medicinal pills, and the slightest mistake would cause failure. And so they had to be extremely careful and meticulous. Okay, I finished the refinement part. Now there are seven sets of medicinal powders. Pour each set into the pill furnace in accordance to the order they were refined. As for the timing, wait for my signal. I'm going to continue, said Long Chen. Wait a moment Long Chen, exclaimed Tang Wanur. What? I'm too nervous, Tang Wanur said with some embarrassment. She was afraid to make a mistake. Long Chen laughed. What are you worried about? Even if it fails, it'll be my responsibility. Just treat it as how you played house as a child. Hearing Long Chen laugh, Tang Wanner relaxed quite a bit. Looking at the small ball of medicine in her hand, she saw it really was just like a small ball of sand she used to play with. A flame burst into existence in his hand. Terrifying heat soared out as he placed it into his pill furnace. I'm starting. Release the first bundle. Tang Wanner nodded and carefully poured the medicinal powders into the pill furnace. As Long Chen's flame energy circulated, those powders began to coalesce, becoming a whole, liquid entity. It was extremely mystical. What she didn't know was that those powders weren't really powders, but the essences of the medicinal ingredients. Long Chen was entirely focused on the pill furnace. He was extremely solemn. This was the first time he was attempting to refine a third-tier medicinal pill. Although he knew the pill formula, he had no experience in it. He couldn't be the slightest bit careless. Even stronger pill cultivators couldn't keep a 100% success rate, let alone Long Chen who was refining it for the first time. Looking at the completely focused Long Chen, Tang Wanner was a bit bewitched. This Long Chen was exceptionally attractive. He was much more reliable and steady than he was normally when he was a mischievous rascal. Next, Long Chen's light voice gave Tang Wanner a fright. Her mind had wandered away. Luckily there was King Yu to the side who was prepared. She quickly released the second set of medicinal powders into the pill furnace. Tang Wanner blushed, looking at King Yu apologetically. But King Yu only winked at her without the slightest bit of rebuke. Now her face turned even redder, hastily dispelling her distracting thoughts. She focused completely on Long Chen's pill furnace, not daring to even look at Long Chen's face again. The main reason Long Chen had had Tang Wanner and King Yu remain behind was because he wanted to focus completely on controlling his flame and keeping track of the changes in the medicinal powders. If he had to place the medicinal ingredients himself, that would split his attention. While concocting medicinal pills, the slightest mistake could result in failure. This medicinal pill was something that concerned the fate of the entire faction. He definitely couldn't make a mistake. He had used the faction's points for his own use, which he was definitely apologetic for. He had to succeed in his refinement. Time passed by unconsciously. Two hours later, all seven sets of medicinal powders had been thrown into the pill furnace. Long Chen had already sealed the furnace and begun increasing the flame strength. The blue flame twisted and danced. A faintly discernible rune appeared within it. 
The room's temperature began to quickly rise. Tang Wan'er and King Yu seemed to not feel that terrifying heat. Looking at the blue flame seedling in Long Chen's hands with shock. Rune. Tang Wan'er was the most shocked. Previously she had let Long Chen examine her own rune. And she had also seen him attempt to summon out his own rune. Unfortunately he had failed. At that time she had thought Long Chen was just trying out a crazy idea. He really was a madman. Without a bloodline inheritance. How could he possibly condense a rune? But now the pill flame in his hand had changed color and a rune had appeared in it. Although that rune wasn't very clear. She could clearly sense the runic power. As someone who also possessed her own runic power. Tang Wan'er knew that it wasn't clear only because Long Chen wasn't activating the rune to its full strength. Not that he didn't have enough control over it. And it was precisely because she understood that that she was so shocked. She practically couldn't believe it. She didn't seem to recall anyone in history ever having done as he had. How is it? Don't you think the taste would be pretty good if I used such a flame to cook fish? Although Long Chen was chatting lightly, he was clearly extremely pleased with himself. Where did you get this flame? Asked Tang Wan'er. I stole it. Long Chen knew that the situation within the pill furnace had already stabilized. He no longer needed to focus so intensely on it. Tang Wan'er stared at him. She knew this fellow barely said one or two truths in his nonsense. But she also knew it wasn't necessary for her to get to the bottom of this. After all, powerful techniques were the life-preserving measures of cultivators. Cultivators wouldn't just randomly demand techniques from others. That was an absolute taboo. He knew she had some apprehensions about this flame. And so he was just about to tell her where he had obtained this beast flame when the furnace began to shake intensely. The pills are about to be condensed. Long Chen slowly increased his flame strength. And his right hand covered the lid. Boom boom boom. Terrifying energy circulated within the pill furnace. It was like there was a berserk hurricane within. This is a sign the pills are about to form. All the medicinal liquid has been concentrated together. Under the powerful urging of the flame. It will almost come to life. Automatically separating into several small balls. Each small ball will crazily whirl around the pill furnace. Absorbing spiritual key from the surroundings. It will form an outer layer with all the essence collected inside. Their shapes are originally not at all completely circular. But after experiencing that crazy whirling. They end up becoming the standard pill shape. This entire process is just like the maturation of an embryo. Extremely miraculous to an inconceivable level. Long Chen explained to the two of them when he saw how curious they were. Although Long Chen knew all the principles of refining pills, he still possessed a profound respect for alchemy. It was a kind of divine technique, an art that could change something trash into something miraculous. Boom. After a final intense explosion, the furnace returned to calm. Long Chen lifted the furnace lid. A dense pill fragrance filled the immortal cave. Nine pearl-like medicinal pills quietly lay within the furnace. Heavens. A pill halo. There are high-grade medicinal pills. And five of them, exclaimed Tang Wan'er. Long Chen had also not expected this. After all, this was his first attempt at this. Originally he had been thinking that just one high-grade medicinal pill would have been pretty good. But there were actually five. After just a moment, Long Chen realized that that was the effect of the spirit stone formation. It appeared its effect was even greater than he had imagined. Look Long Chen. There are five high-grade tendon firming pills and the rest all have pill lines, marking them as middle grade. You really are too amazing Long Chen. Tang Wan'er held the medicinal pills, an excited smile blooming on her face. Ugh, I really am getting rusty. I remember I could refine such medicinal pills with my eyes closed, and they were all high-grade, sighed Long Chen. He shook his head dejectedly. Tang Wan'er was first startled, but then she immediately rolled her eyes, no longer bothering with Long Chen. She adoringly looked at those tendon firming pills with delight. With that experience, Long Chen had already learned all the important moments to control his flame. The second furnace was refined much faster, requiring only just a quarter hour. What caused Tang Wan'er and King Yu to be stupefied was that this time light shining out this time was even stronger. The nine pearl-like medicinal pills inside were actually all high-grade tendon firming pills. When all the medicinal ingredients had been refined, Tang Wan'er simply stared at a table of over 110 tendon firming pills. She had practically gone stupid. Long Chen had managed to refine that many medicinal pills without rest. Although he said he could easily refine at least another 10,000 of them, he directly crawled into his blankets and fell into a deep sleep. After Tang Wan'er and King Yu recovered from their shock, they began to distribute those high-grade tendon firming pills down. Long Chen only woke up the next day. 
Looking at the jade tablet in his hand, a huge, snow-white figure appeared in his mind. It's time to open a spiritual space. Chapter 191 Spiritual Space Translator Born to be once Tang Wan Er and King Yu distributed the tendon firming pills. Their entire faction became silent. That was because everyone had secluded themselves in their immortal caves, borrowing the tendon firming pills energy to quickly stabilize their realm. Only once the realm was stabilized could they continue cultivating. Only then could they keep their foundations stable. Tang Wan Er and King Yu had also secluded themselves in their own rooms. Since they were just stabilizing their realm, they also deactivated the spirit stone formation to avoid wastage. In their entire faction, only Long Chen didn't need to be secluded. However, he had something even more important he had to do. Right now he was in his room, his spiritual strength going through the information within the Jade Tablet. Damn, they're really swindlers. It's this easy. Long Chen couldn't hold back from cursing. The principle behind the opening of a spiritual space was incredibly simple. To open a spiritual space, split your spiritual strength into two opposing poles within the mind sea and open a third space between. That space was similar to a spatial ring, but every spatial ring contained a space fragment. All the space ring had to do was connect to that space fragment. Above the land were many wandering space fragments. It was said that in ancient times, gods had fought a huge war that had smashed apart space and destroyed stars. Those space fragments were what were left behind. But as for whether or not that was true, no one knew. All people knew was that it was possible to use a special technique to merge a space fragment into a ring, forming a spatial ring that could easily store items. The only fault was that a spatial ring's space was static and it was impossible to store living things. Even plants would also quickly die within it. As for this spiritual space, it was different. It was a space formed from his spiritual strength. That was a space located between his eyebrows. It was always connected to his mind. However, it couldn't store things like spatial rings. It could only contain housepits that were also connected to his mind. Frankly speaking, it was just a housepit space. That was why that senior apprentice brother had given Long Chen a warning when he had seen Long Chen wanting to buy it. Damn whoever set these prices. I curse your child's chin to be bigger than their forehead. Long Chen muttered a curse. He also hated himself at the moment. It was something so simple. Even without this secret tome, if he had just tried it himself a bit, he probably would have had a 50% chance of succeeding. Thinking of how he had spent 63,000 points on such a simple principle, his heart dripped blood. Taking a deep breath, he put away those thoughts. He had to find a way to make more points. Regret was useless. It was more important to open his spiritual space. The mind sea was located in the space between a person's eyebrows. That was the place all of a person's knowledge and memories gathered. This was the most important spot of the entire human body. The hardest part of the human head was the forehead, while the weakest spot was between the eyebrows. The bone there was extremely thin, and it was precisely because of that that mental energy was emitted from that location, allowing you to be able to sense danger at the earliest moment. If a person were to stick a steel needle into any other part of the body, it wouldn't cause any damage. You might not even feel it. But if you were to pierce such a sharp object between the eyebrows, you would instinctively try to avoid it. That was the reaction of mind C. It was the same in all people. That weak bone allowed one's mental energy to flow out without restriction. It was the most direct route. The mind C wasn't a true acupuncture point, but a kind of generic term for spiritual strength. It could also be called the sea of consciousness. When cultivators looked inside themselves, they saw that their spiritual strength surged and flowed like a sea causing them to call it that. Within his mind see, Long Chen gathered all his spiritual strength. As if splitting an ocean, his spiritual strength split into two spiritual dragons. Under Long Chen's urging, the two dragons roared and began to race around each other. As they did, a vacuum formed between them. As their speed increased, they became like a huge twister. The core of that twister began to change. Outside that space, spiritual strength was crazily dashing around but inside it was completely still. As Long Chen increased the strength of his spiritual strength, the inner portion grew into a vacuum 300 meters in diameter. According to that secret tome's recordings, that vacuum was his spiritual space. As long he placed his own spiritual imprint on top of it, it would be ready to absorb his housepits that were connected to his mind. It was no wonder Long Chen would curse. This was extremely simple. The monastery really had swindled him. If someone had just given him a random hint, he wouldn't have needed to spend so many points. Since I'm opening it, 
I might as well make it a bit bigger. In any case, he might as well make Little Snow more comfortable inside. Long Chen continued to urge his spiritual strength, causing those two spiritual dragons to increase their speed. The spiritual space began to quickly grow. He only stopped once it was ten times the diameter, and he only stopped because he felt he had pushed his spiritual strength to the max already. He wouldn't have been able to continue going without injuring his spirit. This 3000 diameter spiritual space was like a transparent ball. Strange lines slowly floated down into the ball. Those lines were Long Chen's spiritual imprint. They were like a huge lock, tightly keeping this space under control. Only he would be able to open it. Those lines turned into countless spots that covered the entire ball. Long Chen realized those small spots were smaller versions of the locks. They were quickly absorbed into that ball. Once those lines completely disappeared, Long Chen found that the entire spiritual space had essentially become a part of his body, and he was able to control it with just a thought. Unfortunately Little Snow isn't with me, sighed Long Chen. After being separated for this long, he really was missing that fellow. Little Snow had been with him since he had been the size of a palm. In order to find him, Little Snow had traveled over a thousand miles of wild terrain, almost losing his life. Their feelings for each other had long since become incomparably deep. Before entering the trial region, Long Chen had told Little Snow to go to the edge of the monastery and wait for him. Once he had made his preparations he would go find him. Although he missed him, he knew that as a Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf that was an overlord amongst third-rank magical beasts, his power was great enough that he wouldn't encounter any real danger. Now that he had opened his spiritual space, Long Chen began to think about what to do next. Now he had already refined the Beast Flame. With the Flame Salamander's Blue Flame that was ranked 97th on the Beast Flame rankings, his combat strength had once more greatly risen. But thinking about his fight with Wu Qi, he knew that was far from enough. That was because the power of his Pill Flame was directly related to his cultivation base. His current Pill Flame had already merged into his Meridians. Long Chen's spiritual Qi was slowly nourishing it, increasing its power. The degree at which Long Chen's spiritual key nourished it was over 10 times greater than what a blood condensation cultivator was normally able to accomplish. But in comparison to those who had jumped past the barrier and had reached the tendon transformation realm, it was far too lacking. As the first major chasm of cultivators, the tendon transformation realm was a huge barrier. After surpassing that barrier, one spiritual key would explosively multiple by dozens of times. Long Chen was already far behind now. Furthermore he was also extremely sullen at the moment, as according to the monastery's rules, new disciples could not leave the monastery for the first month, so he had no way to go get little snow either. As for the Aliath pill's medicinal ingredients, he had seen quite a few in the Zuanshan pavilion, but each of them was incredibly expensive, easily in the thousands of points, perhaps in the ten thousands. Then there was the Netherwall ghost steps he had tricked Gui Sha into teaching him. His meridians were not wide enough to train in it. Whenever he tried to use it, he would feel an intense pain from his meridians as if they might explode. That actually didn't sadden Long Chen. He was actually quite happy to have obtained such a precious treasure. It was even possible that the Netherworld Ghost Steps was an even higher class than Split the Heavens since he was still unable to train in it. Adding on how hateful Gui Sha's expression had been, he knew that it was definitely a priceless treasure. He couldn't get little snow. He couldn't study Gui Sha's footwork, he couldn't buy medicinal ingredients, and he was unable to obtain third-rank magical beast blood essence. He found he really had nothing he could do anymore, but then he suddenly thought of a certain location within the Zhuanshan Monastery. Taking a glance into the Immortal Cave, he saw that Tang Wanner and King Yu had both drunk a cup of Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Crystal and had entered their meditative states, trying to quickly stabilize their realm. Long Chen quietly left and ran to a building on the western part of the Zhuanshan Plaza. This building was extremely ordinary, looking like a regular house. At the top of it was a large signboard, Mission Distribution. Long Chen walked in, seeing two bored maidens chatting. The rest of the room was empty of people. Is this the place to receive missions? Asked Long Chen, wondering if he had come to the wrong place. Yes, this is where the monastery distributes its missions. You can choose missions here and after accomplishing them, you can come get your points, smiled one of the maidens. Long Chen saw that both these maidens' auras were extremely powerful. They were both tendon transformation experts, and he assumed they must be senior apprentice sisters. Can you let me see what missions there are? asked Long Chen. No problem. All the missions are here. 
She smiled and took out massive book, giving it to Long Chen. Opening the book, he saw there were all kinds of missions. Each mission all had a number of points beneath it, numbering from the tens to the thousands. The missions were also split into four levels. The fourth level of missions were extremely easy. It was basically just guarding, patrolling, and other labor. Each day you would only be able to obtain 20 to 50 points. The third level's missions involved gathering medicinal ingredients, raising magical beasts, being assistants for alchemists or perhaps forging masters. That kind of work required specific skill sets. After accomplishing these missions, you could obtain 100 to 500 points. The second level's missions were mostly missions outside the sect perhaps it was acting as a bodyguard in the outer world, being an escort, or eliminating dangerous things. This kind of mission usually required more time, but the rewards were much more generous. They were in the thousands to the ten thousands of points. But when he reached the first level missions, he saw that there was nothing there. First level missions are very urgent and aren't available all the time. There might not even be one in a year, explained that maiden. Long Chen nodded. He asked, then what kind of missions can I choose? Since he had nothing else to do, he might as well as do this. I'm sorry but right now you do not have the qualifications to accept any mission. Chapter 192 Faction Competition Starts Translator Born to be why is that? Frowned Long Chen. These missions can only be given out once the first faction competition is over. We only allow you to see the missions and rewards to give you guys a reminder. Within the monastery, the competition is extremely intense. If you want to obtain more resources than others, you'll need to put in 100% of your effort. The faction competition is a fight over the mission priorities. You'll only receive missions in accordance to your ranking. If your faction comes in first, the points from the missions you'll receive will number in the hundreds of thousands. If I were to make an analogy, these missions are like beef noodle soup. First place will come and take all the big pieces of meat. Only then can second place come and take the smaller pieces. As for third place, they'll probably only end up with some leftover ground meat and noodles. The rest is also distributed in accordance to ranking. As for last place, there won't even be soup for them to drink. They'll only be able to lick the bowl. That woman explained it all in one go to Long Chen. They were all disciples from the previous generation and had personally experienced that cruel competition. So they also deeply sympathized with these new disciples who had just arrived. So the start is extremely important. During the first faction competition, you must absolutely get a good ranking. It is the most important. Although the faction competition occurs once a month, if you're unable to obtain a good spot in the first month, then the distance between you and first place will only increase. That distance will only continue to grow larger each month, and it is extremely difficult to catch up, she warned. Long Chen gratefully nodded. After saying his thanks to her, he began walking back to the faction. That senior apprentice sister's words were absolutely correct. The first faction competition was extremely important. Everyone started at the same starting line, but if they allowed others to take the lead, it would be extremely difficult to catch up. That first step would allow them to receive more points and buy more resources, increasing the entire power level of the faction. Then by the next competition, the distance would have only grown. If you were once more surpassed, it was practically certain you would never be able to catch up. It was unfortunate he still didn't know what kind of form the faction competition would take. Otherwise if he could come up with some kind of good strategy they would also get an advantage. Long Chen had just been walking with his head down when a figure suddenly rushed over. He instinctively dodged to the side. But that figure still crashed onto Long Chen. That person's force was so great that being caught off guard, Long Chen was sent flying. He only managed to stabilize himself dozens of meters away. His fury ignited as he clearly knew that person had done that on purpose. Looking forward, he saw a tall, large man who was completely bald icily looking at him. That person was a whole head taller than Long Chen. His huge arms were bare with many veins crawling over them, emitting an explosive strength like a volcano that contained endless power. His arms were also covered with tattoos that were extremely crude. Standing there, he was like an unshackable iron tower. Behind that bald man were three others. One of them had a powerful aura and was indifferently looking down on Long Chen. As for the other two, Long Chen recognized them. They were surprisingly like Kian Chang and Qi Xin. The two of them were smiling at Long Chen's misfortune. This is the monster amongst monsters you told me about. The bald man asked Lai Kian Chang. Yes, but don't underestimate him. Although he's only in the late blood condensation realm, 
He wouldn't be inferior to an outer disciple who is in the tendon transformation realm. He might even be a bit stronger. That bald man shook his head. Having just advanced to the late blood condensation realm, his physical body is not bad. However, his cultivation base is too trash. Not even worth looking at. Let's go. That bald man directly walked right in front of Long Chen as if he didn't see him. Either Long Chen would get out of the way, or there would be a fight. Despite being shaken by this bald man's power, that arrogance from the depths of his soul would not let him back down. Although he clearly knew this person had to be even stronger than Lai Kai and Shang, he was unable to accept such humiliation. Indifferently looking at this bald man, he slowly raised a hand. The pill flame in his body began to circulate, preparing to come out at any moment. Seeing Long Chen actually refused to step aside and had taken a fighting stance, that bald man sneered, actually directly charging over, his aura exploding. Who dares be so impudent in a fighting prohibited region? Suddenly a shout rang out that made the bald man come to a step. He turned to see that a white-robed man was indifferently looking at them. That man's robes were those of a law enforcer, and his powerful aura was one that he didn't dare look down on. Long Chen was startled as this person was actually someone he recognized, Senior Apprentice Brother Wan. Seeing Senior Apprentice Brother Wan, that bald man only lightly sneered. Although he looked down on these people who were at the bottom of their generation, he didn't retort. He said to Long Chen, Brat, next time you block my way I'll crush you to pulp. The bald man walked around Long Chen, the other three also following. From the way they went, it seemed that they were going to the Zhuanchen Pavilion to buy things. Once those people left, Senior Apprentice Brother Wan smiled slightly to Long Chen. Let's walk for a bit. I have some things I want to say to you. Long Chen was surprised. Not expecting the serious Senior Apprentice Brother Wan to look after him like this. Not only had he driven away the bald man, he was also staying with him for a while. Many thanks Senior Apprentice Brother Wan. Long Chen cupped his fists. Grateful to him. His intuition told him that that bald man was extremely terrifying even more powerful than Lai Kai and Chang and Qishin. He who was not even in the tendon transformation realm was not a match for him. That infuriated him. If he had also advanced to the tendon transformation realm, how could he be so inferior to them? Looking at you, I'm reminded of myself three years ago. I was full of confidence back then. But people should sometimes know how to yield. That's not weakness but simply strategy. Don't try to be brave when you are weak, or the person who will be injured at yourself. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan chatted as they walked. Long Chen smiled bitterly. I also understand Senior Apprentice Brother Wan's reminder. But unfortunately I just can't control myself. I would rather die than accept humiliation. Long Chen knew that was the influence of his pill god memories. He simply refused to accept any humiliation. Asking him to accept humiliation was an even worse punishment than being killed. If it was the past Long Chen he would definitely have avoided that kind of situation as best as he could. To forcibly face someone who he wasn't a match for wasn't bravery, but stupidity. That was asking for death. But although he understood this, he was unable to completely control that arrogance that came from the depths of his very soul. That arrogance would not let him yield to anyone. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan nodded. That has to do with a person's willpower. I can't say whether that is good or bad. But let me give you one reminder. Your current cultivation base is the lowest within the entire monastery. Your realm is far too low. That person just now is Gu Yang. He has an innate, powerful strength. His physical body is inconceivably strong. And with his powerful combat strength, he has never met an equal within the same realm. More importantly, he revived his ancestral mark before entering the monastery. The power of his bloodline inheritance has already become part of his power. His strength is already beyond your imagination. Long Chen was shocked that he had awakened his ancestral mark before joining the monastery. Such a powerful person had definitely joined the monastery for the 10,000 beast essence blood. Now that his physical body had reached an even higher level of perfection, wouldn't he be even stronger than Tang Wan or? Your generation of disciples is the strongest generation in the history of the monastery. Few generations have a genius who can awaken their ancestral mark. But this time there were four. Other than Tang Wan or and Ye's Hikyu who you know. There's also the Gu Yang you just encountered. There's also another person named Guan Wenan. His strength is terrifying. And he's extremely arrogant and cold-hearted. You should be more careful. I tell you this in order to remind that when 100 flowers bloom at once. There is no one who doesn't want to be the lead. But you also know that there is just one lead. 
the competition will be extremely intense, and success in the first faction competition is crucial. Many thanks Senior Apprentice Brother Wan for your warning. Junior Disciple will remember it. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan's words were the exact same as that Senior Apprentice Sister from the Mission Distribution Building. I look favorably on you. Good luck. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan patted Long Chen on the shoulder and then left. Long Chen walked back to the Immortal Cave alone. Tang Wan Er and King Yu were still in their meditative state. That was a good sign. Three days later, it was Tang Wan Er who was the first to wake up. After awakening, her aura had become completely stable. It no longer leaked out as before. She had begun to control her own explosive aura. In other words, her realm had already completely stabilized. Long Chen told her about what had happened in the mission distribution building as well as the matter of Gu Yang, giving her a fright. She hadn't expected that there were two others who had also awakened their ancestral marks, and one of them had even awakened it before her and Ye's Hikyu. One or, I still have a great deal of Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Crystal. You should distribute it to everyone so that they can all cultivate faster. Furthermore, also send some to Ye's Hikyu. Since we are in an alliance, we'll all be one family. Their strength is also our strength. I'm thinking of buying some more medicinal ingredients and refining some tendon firming pills for her side as well. Ugh. If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have let them go buy those trash medicinal pills. Long Chen couldn't help feeling a bit regretful that he had forgotten about such an important thing. By the time Long Chen had thought of it, they had already bought them. Sometimes he really felt his head wasn't smart enough. That very day, Tang Wan Er bought more medicinal ingredients and Long Chen refined them into pills. His pills were all high grade, and so they could allow them to stabilize their realm even faster. For the first faction competition, spending a couple extra points to save some more time was definitely worth it. Once all their people had stabilized their cultivation bases, Long Chen had people spar with each other. Only in real combat could people become accustomed to their strength the fastest. Their side had gotten at least 10 more days than other people, giving them enough time to adapt to their cultivation bases. They would be able to fight with much more strength than others. Under practically a day and night training, the time quickly flew by. One month quietly passed before they knew it. Dong. A loud bell rang out, reaching every corner of the Zhuanshan Monastery. Long Chen slowly opened his eyes from his rest. The faction competition has started. Chapter 193 Battle Deployment Translator Born to be following that drawn-out bell sound that reached every corner of the monastery, a certain person slowly opened his eyes. That person was Elder Sun who had been punished by Elder Tu Fang. Long Chen, I must have your battle skills. Elder Sun was completely confident, and greed surfaced in his eyes. As soon as he had seen Long Chen summon out that ring of light, he had started thinking that. Then he had seen Long Chen using Split the Heavens, firming his desire to obtain his techniques. He had secretly investigated Long Chen and knew that he had no background at all. That was why he was confident in stealing them. Back then when he had suppressed Long Chen, it was in order to force him to surrender and then think of a way to steal his techniques. Unfortunately that plan had been ruined by Tu Fang. He hadn't obtained the techniques, and had instead been punished. That had given him a stomach full of fire which he naturally didn't dare release on Tu Fang. So all that hatred had been placed on Long Chen. Slowly standing up, he walked into his immortal cave, coldly snorting. I really want to see just how long you can resist. The Zhuanshan Plaza was filled with people. Looking at the amount of people, Long Chen was amazed by how powerful the Zhuanshan Monastery was. There were a total of 17 factions, meaning there were 17 core disciples. Of the 1700 people, there were 1699 tendon transformation experts. Long Chen saw many people looking at him with the same eyes filled with contempt. He bitterly smiled inside. Did this count as discrimination? As Tang Wan Er looked around, she smiled and relaxed a bit. The majority of these people had yet to completely stabilize their realm yet Novaloon.com but as for her and Ye's Hikyu's people, all their disciples' auras were completely stable, and incomparably so as well. That gave them a large advantage. Their disciples would be able to wield at least 90% of a tendon transformation expert's abilities, while their opponents would be lucky to be able to even use 70% of their power. Warmth filled her when she looked at Long Chen. It seemed this fellow was able to accomplish anything with ease. As long as she could handle the other top experts, their factions would definitely be the strongest amongst all the factions. Although she didn't have many inner disciples in her faction, this battle wouldn't be fought alone but with everyone, and so their advantage was very clear. Your Tang Wan Er, 
Suddenly Gu Yang walked over to Tang Wan Er, looking her up and down. A bit of praise filled his eyes. Tang Wan Er had already heard from Long Chen that Gu Yang was terrifyingly powerful, but due to how close he was with Lai Kian Chang and Qi Xin, she knew he was no friend. Not waiting for Tang Wan Er to say anything, Gu Yang smiled. You're very beautiful. If you join hands with me, I'll definitely look after you greatly. Thank you, but there's no need for that, lightly replied Tang Wan Er. As if long since expecting her reply, Gu Yang also didn't get angry. Looking at Long Chen who was beside her, he said, A useless fellow has no use to you. You'll understand that soon enough. Tang Wan Er's expression changed. He actually dared insult Long Chen in front of this many people. She was about to reply when Long Chen stopped her. He walked a couple steps up to the tower like Gu Yang. Looking at his bald head that reflected the light, he shook his head. I've always heard that people whose heads can't grow hair are supposed to be smart. But seeing your completely hairless head, I can't seem to see any intelligence at all. Do you think that by being bald and having the sunlight reflect on you that it'll increase your looks? You're wrong about that. Who cares if you can reflect light in the day? If you have the capability then go emit light at night. Tang Wan Er covered her mouth, doing her best not to laugh. But her gaze involuntarily landed on Gu Yang's scalp. Ah, with the sunlight reflecting off it. Yes, it really was dazzling. Gu Yang was also so tall that he was basically a head taller than everyone else. Making him stand out even more. Whenever he moved, he would attract everyone's attention. So Long Chen's words were heard by every single person. There was no one who wasn't dumbstruck. Long Chen really was a weirdo. Just what were his guts made of? His cultivation base was clearly the lowest out of everyone. But what he did was always beyond anyone's expectations. Did he not know what it meant to be afraid? Amongst the crowd, Lai Kianchang and Qishin smiled. They knew Long Chen's character. And they also knew Gu Yang's character. This time Long Chen was screwed. The both of them had actually originally been pursuing Tang Wan Er. Other than her fairy-like beauty, it was also because of her powerful strength. If they could obtain such a beauty's heart, not only would they have the love of a beautiful woman, they would also have a powerful helper. Unfortunately for them, ever since Long Chen had appeared, they found that Tang Wan Er had gradually begun to oppose them. In fact, they were now almost mortal enemies. Trying to obtain her heart was definitely impossible. So they naturally would be delighted to see Long Chen mock Gu Yang. Both of them had now advanced to the Tendon Transformation Realm. And in terms of combat strength, they had already far surpassed Long Chen. However, ever since they had seen Long Chen defa Chiring Ji Yu Sha with his endless techniques, they had always felt that even if they could defeat Chiring him, with his character, he would definitely make them pay a price. Now they didn't even need to do anything to disgrace Long Chen. That was something they delighted in seeing. Long Chen, I've already said not to stand in my way again or I turn you to pulp. Looks like you don't have a good memory. Gu Yang tightened his fists. You can come try me. I silly replied Long Chen. When it came to true combat strength, Long Chen was not Gu Yang's match. But if it was a life and death battle, Long Chen wouldn't fear anyone. The monastery's rules didn't really suit Long Chen. He didn't like that kind of dainty fighting method. He was used to killing his enemies. In these kinds of battles. He was unable to use his full strength. He was prohibited from killing anyone in the monastery. But as for these spoiled disciples, they were very skilled at that kind of battle. That caused Long Chen to suffer greatly. If Gu Yang really dared attack him, Long Chen would retaliate with his full strength. He would use his fastest speed to kill him. Fighting and killing were two completely different concepts. Long Chen was proficient in the latter. Stop and return to your factions. A cold shout rang out and people walked over. Those people were a dozen senior apprentice brothers. Amongst them was also senior apprentice brother Wan. It seemed senior apprentice brother Wan's position amongst his fellows here was actually quite high. He even nodded slightly to Long Chen. Long Chen was about to thank him when his pupils contracted on the person at the front of this group. Elder Sun. Long Chen had never thought the one in charge of the faction competition would be Elder Sun wasn't that old bastard supposed to be punished by Tu Fang? How has he come here? Long Chen had a bad feeling. He could sense that this old fellow didn't like him. But in front of this many people, he shouldn't dare to make things difficult for him. Elder Sun indifferently swept his gaze over everyone. Today is the faction competition. I don't need to tell you how important it is. We're about to open the fighting field. After he finished speaking, everyone felt their badges become hot for a moment. Teleporting them to a new location. This was an open mountainside. 
The mountainside wasn't too large, perhaps just stretching a mile or two. There were some small flags scattered along the hillside. At the peak was Elder Sun and the others. There they could watch over everyone. Behind them was a pavilion where a huge, ancient bell was suspended in the air. At this time, senior apprentice brother Wan walked up and said to everyone, I will explain the rules. Listen carefully. When the bell rings, that is the start of the competition. The competition will only last for the time it takes for one incense stick to burn. Someone else carried out a huge censer over. Adopt the censer was a stick of incense as thick as an arm. When the incense has been burnt away, the bell will once more ring to terminate the competition. You guys can all see the small flags along the mountainside. There are a total of 170 flags. Gather as many flags as you can. It doesn't matter whether you steal them or fight for them. All that matters is how many flags you have gathered before the final bell. Each faction will be given a flag case. Each of you pick someone to carry the flag case. Remember, when the final bell rings, only flags within your flag case count. The ones in your hands will not count. Furthermore, a flag held in a person's hand for more than three breaths will be annulled. Once he finished speaking, people immediately walked out to hand over long tubes as thick as a thigh. There was a buckler attached to them that allowed someone to carry one on their back. Long Chen, who should we choose to be in charge of the flag case? Asked Tang Wan or Long Chen thought for a moment. The flag bearer didn't necessarily have to be strong, but they had to be observant and know how to protect themselves. The goal was for that person to not even be touched by enemies, and they had to be absolutely loyal. Guo Ran, we'll give this job to you. Guo Ran solemnly nodded. Don't worry boss, even if I die. I will protect the flag case. I'll protect it like I would protect my woman. After he finished speaking, he rubbed the flag case lovingly as if it was a beautiful woman's leg, causing people to feel nauseous. This might seem like a game, but let me remind you all. This is something that will affect your futures, your fates. Whether you will be stepped on by others or step above others will depend on this. When the competition finishes, the amount of flags in your possession will determine your ranking and your ranking will decide what priority you will have for missions. I trust the senior apprentice sisters at the mission distribution building have already explained that to you. So in this competition, you must do your best to fight over the flags. Good luck to you all. After senior apprentice brother Wan finished speaking, a disciple brought over a torch while another person also walked up to the bell, preparing to ring it. Wan or, your speed is the fastest. When the bell rings, you rush to the left and grab as many flags as possible. I'll take the right. As for the others, form a triangle formation to protect Guo Ran in the middle. We'll hand over all the flags we snatch to Guo Ran. Remember not to keep the flags in your hand for too long or they'll be annulled. Long Chen quickly gave everyone another reminder. He had remembered every single word of that explanation and had thought of a quick strategy. Tang Wan Er and the others all nodded. At this exact time, the huge incense stick was lit and the bell rang. The competition has begun. Chapter 194 Contest Translator Born to be when the bell rang, Long Chen and Tang Wan Er were like two released arrows that shot out. At the same time, the other core disciples did not react at all slower than them. Everyone had all realized this was a merciless struggle. They all knew how important it was to get a good ranking this time. But although they all set out at almost the exact same time, Tang Wan Er was the absolute fastest. She had awakened her ancestral mark causing her control over her wind energy to become even smoother. In terms of speed, she was definitely number one. Once the other core disciples and Long Chen charged out, the others also quickly followed up. But Long Chen's side wasn't the same as others. That was because Long Chen's side was slower in order to prioritize safety. As for the other factions, they clearly didn't have such misjivings and all rushed out, not giving a thought to protection. Tang Wan Er was the first to grab a flag. She threw the flag to Guo Ran. As soon as he caught the flag, he placed it into the flag case on his back. When the flag entered the case, a number lit up one the case. One. At this time the other core disciples had also arrived at the flags they had targeted. But at that moment, Tang Wan Er had already thrown over a second flag. Her speed was essentially double others. Other people were shaken when they saw such speed. If that continued, her advantage would become all too obvious. But now wasn't the time to fight with others. The first thing to do was to grab all the flags that were on the ground. Only then would they go fight over the flags in other people's possession. Qi Xin's faction was to the right of Long Chen's. He had rushed to his first flag, but when he went to grab it, his hands went through thin air. He was shocked to see the flag had floated up on its own and was flying back. 
He then saw Long Chen and cursed. Long Chen, you're asking for it. That flag was pulled over by his spiritual strength. Grabbing it, Long Chen threw it back to his faction and rushed straight to another flag. He didn't even glance at that idiot Qishin. It was already such a time, but he still didn't focus on grabbing flags and wasted his time cursing others. Long Chen really admired that kind of intelligence. Don't just stand there. Get the flags. In the distance, Gu Yang gave him a reminder, while he himself resumed rushing for the flags, deciding to rush in front of Long Chen. If Long Chen dared follow his original route, they would definitely meet at the end. A sneer appeared on Gu Yang's mouth. That was because he saw there were seven flags on Long Chen's path, and they were extremely convenient to grab. He knew Long Chen wouldn't change his course. Flags filled the air. Guo Ran and the others all focused completely on grabbing those flags and putting them into their flag case. In just a couple breaths, they already had eight flags. Other than Guo Ran, the rest of the faction was focused completely on protecting Guo Ran. They formed a triangle around him as they advanced forward. Long Chen had already told those people that their task was to protect Guo Ran and not let anyone approach him. Careful. Crap. Someone stole our flags. Suddenly one person let out a roar. Since their entire faction had rushed out to get the flags, their faction hadn't been careful and another faction had charged over, snatching the three flags in their case, stealing their hard work. By the time that faction's people reacted, all the flags had already landed in their enemy's flag case. That faction furiously charged at the person who had snatched their flags, beating him badly and causing him to faint. But to exchange his injuries for three flags had definitely been worth it. That faction then began to charge at that faction. But those people had already been prepared and they were unable to do anything to them. The entire field was completely chaotic. But Long Chen's side wasn't at all messy. All they needed to focus on was catching flags. As for Ye's Hikyu's side, they had also been attacked. But they were much smarter. Seeing that Long Chen had formed such a protective formation, they had also formed one as well, not letting their attackers gain anything. The core disciples were extremely fast. Tang Wan'er flew her last flag over to Guo Ran and saw there were already none left around. Looking further away, she saw that while there were a few flags left, she wouldn't be able to rush there fast enough. Other people were already too close to them. Return to defend. Long Chen shouted to Tang Wan'er. He was rushing over to his last flag at this time. Once he got it, he would also run back. The entire battlefield's flags had all been snatched. Long Chen saw that Guo Ran actually had 36 flags on him. They were currently number one. Number two was Gu Yang's faction. He had a total of 27, while Ye's Hikyu's faction had 19. Although he didn't know what ranking that was, it was definitely not low. That was because many factions only had three to five flags. One reason was because they weren't that good at observing the situation and hadn't chosen good paths, ending up running into others. The other reason was because they hadn't seized the initiative and others had taken flags on their paths before they could get to them. Just as Long Chen was about to touch that flag, he suddenly felt a sense of danger. A terrifying gale was charging at him from behind. Before the attack had even arrived, a powerful pressure already caused his bones to shiver. Without even thinking about it, he immediately dodged to the side. Twisting his head, he saw that it Gu Yang had already arrived where he had been, currently just missing his punch. Your reactions aren't bad, but that won't stop me from crushing you. Gu Yang was a bit surprised that Long Chen had managed to dodge his sneak attack. He reached out his hand to grab that flag. Long Chen snorted. Using spiritual strength to move things at a distance was extremely costly, and they already had enough flags that he didn't need this one. Pointing a finger, a blue spark shot out. Just as Gu Yang was about to touch that flag, that spark immediately ignited the flag, turning it to ashes. A flag had been trashed just like that. Gu Yang angrily smashed Long Chen with a fist. Die. Long Chen circulated his Feng Fu star and also punched out. Boom. Long Chen felt an unstoppable force send him flying. His arm was in great pain, almost feeling as if it was broken. What powerful strength. Long Chen was greatly shaken. Gu Yang really was inconceivably powerful. He was worthy of being an expert who had long since awakened his ancestral mark. That fist had only relied on his physical strength, but it had still sent him flying. That was the first time Long Chen had encountered someone whose physical body was more powerful than his own. Eat another one of my fists. After sending Long Chen flying, Gu Yang had quickly chased after him, smashing another fist down. This time the sleeve over his arm completely exploded and the tattoo-like runes over his arm lit up. 
Long Chen immediately felt an immense pressure. He knew Gu Yang's power had far surpassed his expectations. He no longer kept anything back. Heaven and earth shook as the divine ring appeared behind his back. A terrifying aura surged out of him, making him seem like a god of war. At the same time, he extended his hand and a huge flame weapon appeared. That was a three-meter-long blue-colored broadsword. The flames in that broadsword surged over and over. Runes covered it as it roasted the air. As soon as that flame blade appeared, it slashed down on Gu Yang. Boom. When that huge flame blade collided with Gu Yang's rune-covered fist, a terrifying wave of ki forced back both Long Chen and Gu Yang. Gu Yang was shocked. Although he had heard Long Chen had powerful techniques, as someone who had awakened his ancestral mark, he had never placed a brat who was only in just the late blood condensation realm in his eyes. He had thought that one blow would have been enough to crush Long Chen. He really had never imagined Long Chen would be able to receive it head on. That huge explosion shook everyone into a brief pause. But then they quickly began to wildly fight again. That was because they saw that over half the incense stick had burnt away now. They had to fight with all their strength. The entire battlefield was now extremely chaotic. None of them had any experience when it came to battling in groups. So they all fought on their own. The entire battlefield looked like a bunch of hoodlums duking it out with each other. As for Elder Sun, a fiery light appeared in his eyes when he saw that divine ring behind Long Chen's back. He could sense that ring of light was constantly absorbing energy from heaven and earth, replenishing his spiritual ki. Such a battle skill was definitely able to be called a divine technique. With such a battle skill, he would have no fear of multiple people. His greed for it increased even more. Senior apprentice brother Wan praised Long Chen inside when he saw he was able to block a rune-powered attack by Gu Yang while still being in the blood condensation realm. None of these people knew that at the mouth of an immortal cave on Skywood Mountain, two people were lightly drinking tea and watching this entire scene. Sect leader, do you know what battle skill that is? Asked Tu Fang. Ling Yunzi shook his head. I've never heard of it. Although there are similar battle skills, those are all supplementary parts of cultivation techniques that don't help in battle. That ring of light is not just absorbing energy from the world to replenish his own, but it is also increasing his strength by several times. It doesn't look like any cultivation technique or battle skill. He, how interesting. Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang were hundreds of miles away watching this competition. Ling Yunzi also wanted to see just how powerful a legendary divergent was. After their exchange Gu Yang sneered. So you have one or two tricks. Then I don't have to worry about killing you. His aura began to rise even further. The runes on his body began to quiver. Appearing like countless caterpillars were twisting over his body both extremely strange and terrifying. As his aura continued to climb, the ground beneath him began to crack. The space around him twisted, making him appear like a human-shaped monster. I've already said that I'll crush you to pulp. Gu Yang roared. The ground beneath him exploded as he charged at Long Chen. Chapter 195 Fierce Fight Translator Born to be runes covered all of Gu Yang's body, light flowing through them. His aura had exploded and Long Chen felt as if he were being stared at by a wild beast. There was no need to doubt Gu Yang's strength, but that arrogant will that came from the depths of his soul would not permit him to retreat even half a step. It wouldn't let him even think about retreating. Despite knowing he wasn't a match for him, even if he were to die under his hands, he wouldn't be permitted to retreat. That caused Long Chen to grumble inside. He knew he couldn't beat him, and yet he wasn't permitted to run. Just how silly was that kind of behavior? but he knew that if he were to force himself to retreat, his Dao heart would be disrupted. Perhaps, that single setback would ruin his Dao heart, forming a heart devil. Since he knew he couldn't retreat, then he would risk it all. Taking a deep breath, his Feng Fu star suddenly became still. He was about to summon the Feng Fu battle armor. Galuine slash. Suddenly a huge wind blade slammed down at Gu Yang. Gu Yang let out a smothered shout and was directly sent flying by that terrifying wind blade. That wind blade overflowed with power and cut a huge scar into the land. A graceful figure appeared in front of Long Chen. With her hair and clothes fluttering in the breeze, the current Tang Wana really did look like a goddess. Give Gu Yang to me. You go protect everyone. As long as we endure for a bit longer, we'll win. Focusing on Gu Yang, she clapped her hands together and a wave of spiritual ki surged out of her. Wind blades filled the air around Tang Wana. Those quickly revolving wind blades were like hundreds of flying flowers cutting apart the space. At the same time, a longsword appeared in her hands. That was a longsword formed from her wind blades. That terrifying wind energy caused the space around the longsword to constantly warp. 
The runes atop the long sword shined brightly as if they had been bestowed with life. A continuous roar came from it, battle intent overflowing. That was the current Tang Wan'er's peak state. She was truly like a beautiful battle goddess as she stood there. Long Chen nodded. Handing Gu Yang to her was the best option. Of everyone present, only Tang Wan'er had the qualifications to fight against Gu Yang on an even level. He rushed back towards their faction. Gu Yang looked at Tang Wan'er. You really refused to join hands with me. Tang Wan'er didn't reply. Merely icily staring at him. The wind blades around her body spun quicker. Ready to attack at any moment. Gu Yang snorted. Since you failed to appreciate my kindness, don't blame me for being merciless. The runes covering his body once more lit up brightly. A faint gold light appeared over his fists as he punched at her. The wind blade in her hand hacked down, smashing onto that fist, emitting a heaven-shaking explosion. The ground beneath their feet immediately cracked into pieces. Both parties were sent flying back, but while being blown back, Tang Wan'er also shouted out, Wind Pierce. The wind blades around her body all merged together, forming an arrow that shot at Gu Yang. It reached him in just the blink of an eye. Gu Yang was startled and instinctively punched out, smashing that huge arrow into pieces. The arrow did break into pieces, but it didn't explode. Instead it split into countless smaller wind blades. Once those wind blades separated, they were immediately like bees attracted to honey, slashing down on Gu Yang. An ordinary person would be directly cut into a corpse by those thousands of wind blades. Gu Yang was also given a great fright, not expecting Tang Wan'er's attack to be so flexible. Furthermore, Tang Wan'er's wind blades were incredibly powerful. Even he was unable to let them cut down on him. Vajra protecting the body, Gu Yang roared and raised his fists to block. The light from his body suddenly soared, making him become like the sun. Those countless wind blades were immediately disintegrated by that light. Ling Yanzi smiled in the distance. This Gu Yang really is powerful. For him to have awakened his ancestral mark two years ago, his talent really is not bad. Tu Fang nodded. Gu Yang is definitely powerful, and his talent is exceptional. His body coincidentally meets all the requirements of his ancestral bloodline. However his talent itself isn't higher than Tang Wan'er's. Tang Wan'er is merely suffering because she has only just awakened her ancestral mark and still can't use the ancestral mark properly. Who do you think is stronger? Ling Yanzi lightly sipped his tea. At the present moment, Gu Yang is a bit stronger. But half a year later they might be even. And within one year, Tang Wan'er will definitely surpass him. Tu Fang confidently predicted. Ling Yanzi also nodded. One year from now is also coincidentally the opening of the Jiuli secret realm. This group of children arrived at just the right time to enter it. Tu Fang smiled somewhat bitterly. The Jiuli secret realm is said to have come from ancient times. It opens once every hundred years, and the opportunities within are limitless. But at that time both the righteous and corrupt paths disciples will all enter. That's definitely a desperate struggle. I wonder just how many people will die inside. Danger and opportunity exist together. What expert's path is easy. Fighting against the corrupt path is absolutely necessary. For all the commoners trying to live under the heavens, the only option is to massacre them. Ling Yanzi watched those fighting disciples as he said that. Ah, it seems a good show is about to start. Tang Wan'er and Gu Yang were fighting fiercely, fists and blades constantly colliding, huge gales blowing out. But Ling Yanzi's gaze wasn't on them, but on Long Chen. Long Chen had only just returned to his faction and saw that they were practically all fighting with enemies coming from every direction. It was obvious that they would be focused considering that they had the most flags. Turn the triangle formation into a circular formation. Protect the flag inside. Whoever passes through will be beat to death by me. Long Chen let out a loud shout, sending the people in front of him flying with a single kick. Currently the people around them were like the tide trying to surge over them. They urgently needed his help. Otherwise if this formation was broken through, all their flags would be stolen. Then they really have fought for nothing. Long Chen saw that Ye Hikyu's side was also being focused by two powerful factions. They were already in a disadvantage, and couldn't afford to send any help over. But what relieved him a bit was that although they were fighting many people, everyone really was protecting Guo Ran very well. They were like an iron shield, and for a moment they still weren't in danger. They had all had the advantage of the high-grade tendon firming pill. Their combat strength should be quite a bit higher than their opponents. Even if their opponents flooded over them, they would still be able to endure. After all, this wasn't a true life and death battle. No one dared to attack with their greatest strength. They could only try to knock down their opponents. 
that allowed them to endure for even longer. Seeing that there was only half a foot of the incense stick remaining, he estimated that there was not even a quarter hour before it was finished. As long as they could persevere through that time, they would win. Long Chen, die. Suddenly a loud roar rang out and a chilling cold wind attacked him. Long Chen instinctively raised his flame blade, slashing it in the direction of the voice. A strange sound rang out as Long Chen flame blade collided with the water blade. Steam filled the air. Qishin only now did Long Chen clearly see who had come to attack him. Long Chen, I said I'd make you regret ever being born in this world. You'll soon learn what suffering feels like. A sinister smile appeared on Qishin's face. Brandishing his flame blade, Long Chen sneered. You are unable to teach me that. He, you'll understand soon. When that time comes, don't kill yourself in regret. That would be too boring. Qishin laughed darkly, the water blade in his hand slashing down on Long Chen, blocking it once more. Steam filled the air. It's a bit troublesome. Long Chen's expression changed slightly. Water subdued fire. Long Chen's flame blade was oppressed by his water blade and was unable to release its full strength. That didn't mean that his flame blade wasn't strong, but simply that his cultivation base wasn't high enough and he was unable to fully release the might of the blue flame. If he also advanced to the tendon transformation realm, although he wouldn't dare look down on Kizin's water blade, he definitely wouldn't be hindered so greatly. HMPH, let me see how long you can last. Spiritual key flowed from his hand into his water blade, causing it to become much larger, at least 30 meters long. He slashed it down on Long Chen. He wants to fight me with spiritual key, sneered Long Chen. With the support of his divine ring, he had no need to fear that. Increasing his spiritual key as well, he began to crazily fight with Qishin. As water and fire continuously collided, steam filled the entire air. Key waves surged out as both parties began a fight of attrition. Qishin, you still haven't handled that trash? Then let me give you hand. Lai Qianchang suddenly also appeared, a huge thunder force blade appearing in his hands. Long Chen was alarmed, quickly taking a step back. Looking around, his expression changed. Three armies were crazily attacking his faction, attempting to break through. With those three armies' attacks, their iron-like defense was also starting to fail. Occasionally one of their members would be knocked unconscious, unable to fight any further. Everyone stand firm. Time is almost up, shouted Long Chen. That was because he saw the incense stick was only a couple inches tall now. The faction competition was about to end. At this moment, they had to continue persevering. Maybe you should focus on yourself. Lai Qianchang sneered and attacked him. Qishin also wasn't slower, his water blade slashing down Long Chen. Two Tendon Transformation Core disciples had joined hands to defaturing Long Chen. That slightly surprised Ling Yanzi. This isn't exactly fair. Joining hands to attack others is a bit contrary to our original intentions. Frown Tu Fang. Ling Yanzi smiled slightly. It doesn't matter whether it is fair or not. Experts will never let such a word leave their mouths. Crying for fairness is always the helpless chant of weaklings. Experts can make everything unfair. If they wanted to, they could trample over weaklings with the most barbaric and rough methods. Let us see just how Long Chen will handle this unfairness. If my guess isn't wrong, he still has something to fall back on. Tu Fang looked silently at Long Chen. How could a rookie at the seventh vestige of blood condensation contend against two tendon transformation core disciples? So what if he was a divergent? In the face of strength. He could only lower his head. Tu Fang sighed helplessly. Just at this moment, Long Chen's eyes closed. All of heaven and earth seemed to have faded away from him, entering a state of complete silence. Feng Fu battle armor. When he once more opened his eyes, a star floated around in his eyes. Chapter 196 Traitor's Translator. Born to be Feng Fu battle armor, Long Chen let out a shout inside his mind. When he once more opened his eyes, a star had appeared in his eyes. B-U-Z-Z-Z. Space trembled and key waves soared into the sky. A terrifying pressure shot out in all directions. The current Long Chen was like an awakened ancient beast, his ferociousness shaking the land. The flame blade in his hand that was only a couple meters long immediately grew to the size of 150 meters. It was like a heavenly blade as it slashed down on the two of them. Boom. Qishin and Lai Qianchang were immediately like two weeds miserably struck back. They only managed to stabilize once they had been knocked back hundreds of meters. The surrounding people were all given an absolute fright when they saw Long Chen's attack. They were completely stupefied as they saw both Qishin and Lai Qianchang miserably sent flying. Standing at the top of the mountainside was Elder Sun. He involuntarily stood up, 
his eyes shining as he stared at Long Chen. Ling Yanzi was also moved. What a powerful battle skill. It allowed him to instantly release a strength tens of times greater than usual. His current aura is almost comparable to the Tendon Transformation Realm. Tu Fang was given a shock. That explosive power was at least dozens of times stronger than it had been before. How could this world really contain such a terrifying battle skill? After sending them flying, Long Chen knew that he had to finish this as quickly as possible. Stepping forward, he charged back at the two of them, slashing down ferociously with his flame blade. Both Lai Kai and Chang and Qishin were absolutely shocked. At the same time their fury also exploded. The two of them were tendon transformation experts, and core disciples as well. But they were miserably forced back. Previously they had been careless. Just playing with Long Chen as a kind of humiliation. They had never thought Long Chen would release such a powerful strength. They no longer dared be overconfident. Both of their auras completely exploded out. Their huge blades explosively grew as they charged at Long Chen. Boom boom boom. The frantic collisions of those huge blades caused the land to split and stones to fly. Shocking everyone around them so much that they had to quickly retreat. The current Long Chen really was like a god of war. He actually blocked all of Qishin and Lai Kian Chang's attacks head on. But that still wasn't enough for him. Long Chen could sense his Feng Fu battle armor's spiritual key rapidly running out. In just a couple breaths, he would be running on empty. Time to risk it all. Long Chen clenched his teeth and raised his flame blade high into the air. All the energy within his Feng Fu star surged into his flame blade. His flame blade immediately began to crazily grow. The runes on top of it became increasingly clear. Split the heavens. Lai Kian Chang and Qi Xin's expressions changed. They recognized this move as the one Long Chen had used to defy Turing Gui Sha. Now Long Chen was using it again, and it was even more powerful than before. They both turned numb inside, quickly exploding out with all their strength without leaving the slightest bit in reserve. Water Arrow World, Thunderblade destroying space. The both of them brought out their strongest moves. Three lights collided in the air. Terrifying energy exploded out, sending the surrounding people flying. Those who were too close directly fainted. When that backlash key wave struck him, Long Chen was already powerless to resist and sent flying. As for Lai Kai and Chang and Qi Xin, they were also not better off than him and buried under the ground. Long Chen panted for breath. His flame blade completely disappeared along with his divine ring. His spiritual key was almost exhausted. Raising his head to look at the incense stick, he saw that it was about to reach the end. Protect the flag bearer. Long Chen suddenly let out a loud shout as he saw there were people charging at Guo Ran. Right now there were only 20-something people still standing beside Guo Ran. Hearing his shout, they hastily surrounded Guo Ran, frantically fighting off against those people. Die. Long Chen was suddenly struck in the back and sent flying by Lai Kai and Shang. He directly coughed out blood in midair. Without spiritual key to protect his body, his organs were all heavily injured, beginning to break down. Falling on the ground, Long Chen coughed up even more blood, but he didn't even care about his injuries. Still looking at Guo Ran, he hoped those people would be able to endure just a couple more breaths. Victory was within reach. Long Chen's heart was about to pound out of his chest. This matter concerned all their futures. Qi Xin icily looked at him and sneered. Long Chen, do you remember? I said that I'd make you regret ever being born in this world. It's time for my revenge. Now, hearing Qi Xin suddenly shout, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed and he roared. Careful Guo Ran. Guo Ran had only just heard his warning when he felt a sharp pain from his back, causing him to vomit out blood. Guo Ran saw that this attacker was actually someone who had been protecting him this entire time. You. But before he could even say anything, his right rib was struck by someone else. The sounds of bone breaking causing people to wince. Suddenly he felt his back lighten as his flag case was snatched away. Guo Ran actually frantically ignored his pain and grabbed onto the flag case, wanting to grab it back. That was something that would determine everyone's fates. Furthermore he had promised Long Chen he would protect the flag case even if he died. He tightly held on to it. Bastard. Let go. That person tried pulling several times but was unable to get him to release it. The two people who had attacked him first now came up and stamped on his arm ruthlessly. The sound of his bones cracking rang out. Both his arms were now broken. But Guo Ran still didn't let go. Bang. That person kicked Guo Ran in the stomach causing him to vomit out more blood and he was sent flying. Those people who surrounded him had been fighting off outer attacks this entire time. They hadn't even realized anything was happening behind them. By the time they turned to look, 
that person had already taken the flag case and thrown it into the distance. Someone from Gu Yang's faction had already long since been ready and caught it, putting all the flags into their faction's case. Dong. The incense stick finally burnt away and the loud bell signified the end of the competition. All the fighting stopped. Tang wan -er turned to look at Guo Ran and saw those three traitors' icy smiles. To her, it felt as if all of heaven and earth had changed color. Long Chen, I've already said I'd make you life a death worse than death. Now you believe me right? Ha ha ha. Ki Xin's unbridled laughter echoed throughout. A similar tragedy had also struck Ye's Hikyu's side. Two of their disciples had turned traitor, sending their flags to their enemies. Long Chen slowed walked over to Tang wan -er, seeing her inconsolable expression. His heart ached. Long Chen. Tang wan -er hugged onto Long Chen and sobbed with grief. Why is this? Why is this? She had always been devoted to her people. She had never imagined there would be people to betray her. That caused her to feel even more grief than just losing. It was as if someone was twisting a knife in her heart. Tang wan -er, How is it? Now I'll give you another chance to join hands with me. Seeing Tang wan -er go to Long Chen to cry. Gu Yang was actually furious. Long Chen icily glanced at Gu Yang. I will make you repay this 100 times. Gently patting Tang wan -er, Long Chen walked over to those three traitors. Those three had all joined the Heaven Earth faction later when Tang wan -er and Guo Ran had gone to find some fresh talent. Tang wan -er was filled with remorse. She hated herself for being so blind. She actually didn't know how to judge people. If it was Long Chen, he definitely wouldn't have let such people join them. The more she thought about that, the more grief she felt. Sorry Long Chen, we're just working for our master. Who asked you guys to not know how to appreciate kindness? One of them apologized, but everyone could see he wasn't the slightest bit apologetic. Tu Fang angrily stood up. This is too much. I really have been blind to allow such people to join the Zhuanshan Monastery. Tu Fang wasn't just speaking of those three, but also those people who had used them. An honorable and open competition had been turned into a game of traitors by them. That was completely contrary to the competition's intentions. Trash will never throw itself into the trash can. What are you so angry about? Ling Yunzi only lightly sipped some tea. Sect leader, you want to let them off just like this. Tu Fang was clearly infuriated. Haha, <laughs> Tu Fang, you're also this old now. How can you still not see through what will happen? Since trash won't throw itself away, don't we just need someone to clean it up? Smiled Ling Yunzi. You mean, Tu Fang stiffened. Just calm down a bit. Normally you'd handle all this trash, but this time you can rest and watch a show. Come, drink some more tea. Ling Yunzi raised a teacup. His eyes focused on Long Chen. A golden light shined within his eyes. If the legends really were true, he knew what he would do. Long Chen didn't even respond to that person's words. He walked up to Guo Ran. Currently Guo Ran had fractures everywhere and his aura was extremely chaotic. Guo Ran was extremely sullen, having been sneak attacked. He hadn't had any defenses at all. I'm sorry boss. I should die. I didn't accomplish the mission you gave me. Guo Ran began to cry. Good brother. You did well. This isn't your fault. Consoled Long Chen. Guo Ran truly had done extremely well. Although he might appear like a slippery character on the outside. He was a real man who kept his promises. Otherwise he also wouldn't have been beaten to such a state while still refusing to let go of the flag case. At that time. The only thing he had been thinking of was those flags, the futures and honor of everyone. He hadn't even cared about his own life. Boss, if only I were a bit stronger, if I was just a bit smarter, this wouldn't have happened. I should die. Guo Ran sobbed like a child. Long Chen gently placed his hand on the back of Guo Ran's head, feeding him a healing medicinal pill. He let him faint. Otherwise such an impact was not good for his spirit and might even affect his Dao heart. Placing Guo Ran down. Long Chen walked over to the three traders icily. One of them sneered and tilted his head at him. What? You don't accept it. You can try and get back at us next time. But I don't think you'll have that opportunity. Now you'll forever be trampled by us. Forever starving. Ha 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 plop. Chapter 197 Killing People Translator. Born to be cold light flashed by and blood spurted. Three heads soared into the sky. Blood from their necks spurting out. When those three heads once more tumbled to the ground. Those expressions were still locked in a ridiculing sneer. Long Chen's blade was too fast. Far beyond any of their expectations. Those three would never have even dreamed that Long Chen would kill them. Drip. Drip. Blood slowly dripped from his blade onto the ground. That sound was extremely light. But in the currently deathly silent battlefield. 
It sounded more like a huge hammer crushing people's hearts. You caused my brother to bleed and caused my beauty to cry. My merciless blade will cut down any traitors. Looking down on those three corpses, he involuntarily muttered. It was like he was an ignited explosive. His killing intent had completely surged out to fill the entire world. Long Chen suddenly moved, appearing before the two still stupefied two traitors from Ye's Hikyu's faction. His eyes were completely scarlet, just like some kind of crazed beast from hell. Arriving in front of those, Long Chen's terrifying killing intent completely broke any of their courage. Their faces were as pale as paper and they were horrified to realize that their bodies wouldn't listen to them. They wanted to run, but were unable to even more. No plop. Long Chen's blade mercilessly cut across their necks, cutting off their voices. The scent of blood filled the air. People were completely stunned as they smelled that scent. Killing. Long Chen was killing people? Everyone was completely horrified. Looking at that blood-dyed person who looked like a death god demanding their lives, there was not one person whose heart didn't tremble in fear. Although they had already experienced a life and death trial in order to join the monastery, that was their limit. In front of Long Chen whose killing intent was filling the entire world around them, they all felt their bones shivering. Some people clenched their mouths tight. That was because if they didn't, their teeth would involuntarily clatter together. Lai Kai and Shang, Qi Xin, and Gu Yang's expressions all changed. They had never expected Long Chen to be so ferocious and kill others in front of this many people. In my life, I will never betray anyone, but I also will not allow anyone to betray me. He had actually wanted to say more, but suddenly he felt the world spin around him. Having summoned the Feng Fu battle armor and used Split the Heavens, he was already out of energy. He was then attacked by Lai Kai and Shang, causing him to be extremely injured. After all, he wasn't in the Tendon Transformation Realm, and his spiritual key was still lacking compared to him. Then he saw the scene of his faction disciples betraying them, his brother severely injured, and Tang Wanner inconsolably sobbing. His head had buzzed. An unprecedented killing intent had soared out of him. That kind of killing intent wasn't just his own, but also from the will within his soul. Even in that state where he had had no spiritual key, he had killed five people. Now that he had killed those five traitors, he was absolutely unable to endure any longer. He collapsed. But before he could fall on the ground, two soft bodies came to hold him. A pure spiritual key poured into his body. Both Tang Wanner and Ye's Hikyu had come. A dab of warmth had appeared on Ye's Hikyu's normally icy expression. Tear stains still could be seen on her beautiful face. As for Tang Wanner, she was still sobbing. As she gave Long Chen spiritual key, she also choked back her tears. Don't cry. Didn't I already tell you? I'll be in charge of handling these fools, and you'll be in charge of being as beautiful as a flower. If that group of bastards make you cry, I'll make them bleed. Long Chen forced out a laugh. Scoundrel, you've caused a disaster for yourself. Tang Wan'er couldn't help but cry. She hadn't expected Long Chen to go kill others. Thinking of the consequences, she was filled with grief. She couldn't control herself and all she could do was send him spiritual key. On Skywood Mountain, Ling Yanzi was watching everything lightly. A bit of admiration appeared in his eyes when he had seen that death godlike figure. It really is just like the legends say. Tu Fang, look, there's someone else taking out the trash for you. Tu Fang bitterly smiled. This Long Chen really has guts. Does he not know what taboos are? And sect leader, what do you mean about the legends? Ling Yanzi stood up and walked to the edge, looking up at the floating clouds covering the peak of Skywood Mountain. The legendary divergents are born in defiance of the heavenly deos and everything they do is in defiance to them. They don't fear the heavenly deos oppression, defying their laws. Such a person dares to resist even the will of the heavenly deos, not even caring about the law set in place by them. Do you think they would care about the rules of our monastery? Tu Fang shook his head. Are divergents crazy? If they act like that, then the only result would of course be death. Who dares resist the heavenly deos? If you lived within the thousand major worlds, then you needed to comply with the laws of the heavenly deos. Only by understanding and following the will of the heavenly deos could you live. To defy the heavens was to foolishly ask for death. No matter how powerful a person was, they would always be under the laws of the heavenly deos. It was no wonder all divergents were like shooting stars, rising abruptly and bursting out their radiance like a firework, only to be short-lived and disappear. Of those experts who stood at the peak of this world, not one was a divergent. That was because divergence only had one fate, to be exterminated under the heavenly deos. So Tu Fang couldn't help sighing sorrowfully. This time you're wrong. 
Sometimes the process is even more important than the result. The world is endless, and cultivators are like grains of sand. But how many people are able to have a good death? Even if they comply with the heavenly deos, as they attack the supreme realms above, aren't the majority still destroyed under the heavenly deos? Death isn't the end. The journey is the most important part of a cultivator's life. There are millions of deos when cultivating. Some are grand deos while some are ordinary deos. As for whether someone has a grand deo or an ordinary deo, who can possibly tell? Since no one can, then no one has the right to judge the path that others choose. Remember, no matter how high your cultivation base is, you must maintain a humble heart. Ling Yunzi solemnly gave Tu Fang a reminder. Tu Fang respectfully bowed. Many thanks, sect leader. Sensing my current state of mind, it's improved by quite a bit. It seems I really was too attached. Tu Fang was filled with respect for Ling Yunzi. He could sense that in terms of the mental state, he was far too lacking to him. But sect leader, since Long Chen has killed others, then according to the rules, he must be expelled, said Tu Fang. Long Chen's potential was endless, but they also absolutely could not change the rules of the monastery. Tu Fang really couldn't bear to expel such a genius. Don't worry about it. Let's just watch a bit more. Ling Yunzi smiled and continued watching. He wanted to see what Elder Sun would do. Elder Sun himself had never expected Long Chen to be so daring as to kill people here, but that actually delighted him inside. When Long Chen had killed the first three he had been too surprised, but he had been entirely capable of stopping him from killing the other two traitors, but he hadn't in order for Long Chen to violate the sect's rules even more, that way no one could protect him. Long Chen, you are too brazen, you killed members of the same sect in the competition, with such a berserk heart and vicious methods, you are no different from the corrupt devils. Elder Sun only righteously stood up once he saw Long Chen had already broken as many rules as he was going to for now. With Tang Wan'er's assistance, Long Chen had recovered a bit. Although he couldn't fight, he could at least stand on his own now. Lightly shedding the two of their supports, he walked up a couple steps. Although he was still extremely weak, but after seeing him kill five fellow disciples, everyone in front of him recoiled, forming a path for him. As for Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu, they followed behind him. They were both uneasy about his punishment. Looking at Elder Sun with his sanctimonious expression, he suddenly laughed. Shameful. What are you laughing about? Raged Elder Sun I'm laughing at you. An old idiot who is clearly laughing joyfully inside but acts like some righteous man with morals. Even a lying whore is better than you. Contemptuously said Long Chen. Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu glanced at each other, both seeing the despair in the other's eyes. Long Chen truly did cause them to both like and hate him. Even at this time, he purposely went to infuriate Elder Sun they had actually been hoping to save him, perhaps somehow lightening his sentence. After all, Long Chen's potential was so great and the monastery's rules did favor the strong, but Long Chen's insult completely ruined any of their hopes. Giving Elder Sun a slap in the face like that and then asking him for a favor was just seeking humiliation for themselves. Long Chen, don't talk nonsense. Senior apprentice brother Wan walked up and gave Long Chen a reminder. He gave him a meaningful glance, telling him not to resist and that there was still a chance. Long Chen smiled slightly and nodded to senior apprentice brother Wan. He was grateful for his good intentions, but he was also helpless. Perhaps he might be able to accept a bit of humiliation, but he was not able to accept his friends being bullied. Most importantly, he was unable to accept being betrayed. That had left an unforgettable hatred within him. A hate that made him want to kill all traitors. Long Chen sneered at the angered elder son although I haven't been a member of the monastery for long. I know the monastery's objective is to use righteousness to eradicate wickedness. But everyone has all seen what just happened. How is that righteousness? Using the trust of comrades to stab them in the back. Qishin sneered. Idiot. This is called strategy and smarts. All is fair in war. And if you couldn't even think of it. That just means you were stupid. Kizan's words immediately infuriated all of Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu's people. What kind of crap is this? Those who join our factions are our brothers. This is how you treat our trust. Fuck your granny. According to your words, we should all just stop cultivating and start stabbing each other in the back. A rain of curses hailed down on Kishin. Betrayal was always the most painful thing for people. But Kishin just sneered with a mocking smile in response to those inflamed disciples. Gu Yang, Lai Kai and Shang and all their people stood together, disdainfully looking down on them. Contemptible trash will forever be just trash no matter how much they cultivate. Long Chen, we'll support you, 
Suddenly, two people walked out of the crowd and stood by Long Chen. Chapter 198 Sect Leader Arrives Translator Born to be what Long Chen had never expected was that Song Mingyuan and Li Qi now both walked out of the crowd to stand with Long Chen. Clearly they were displaying their dissatisfaction with Qi Xin's contemptible methods. Long Chen, your character is just how a man should be like. Li Qi gave Long Chen a thumbs up. Then he icily swept his gaze over Gu Yang, Li Kai and Shang, Qi Xin, and all their people. His eyes filled with contempt. That caused Gu Yang and them to be infuriated. They clenched their fists angrily. But they sensibly didn't do anything. They just waited for Elder Sun's ruling. At this time, Elder Sun cursed inside to see that two Song Mingyuan and Li Qi, two core disciples, would express their support of Long Chen. That was definitely a kind of provocation to him, but he acted as if hadn't seen them. Coldly shouting, Long Chen, you've massacred your fellow sect members. That is something indisputable. And even if you try to refute it, you cannot escape from your crime. Long Chen icily laughed. What nonsense. I, Long Chen, am someone who can support all of heaven and earth. I have never not admitted to anything I've done. And furthermore, what do you mean I can't escape my crime? Massacring my fellow sect members? Have your eyes gone blind with age? These pieces of trash that stab their comrades in the back are also fellow sect members. How presumptuous. This is just a competition and not a true battle. How can it count as stabbing in the back? Elder Sun had already flown into a rage after being repeatedly cursed by Long Chen. But despite wishing to crush Long Chen to death inside, he didn't dare do anything. That was because he knew everything happening here was being monitored in secret by the high-level members of the monastery. He had to act fair and impartial. Competition? Then let me ask you, what does the monastery spend so much effort to raise us into? Is it to play such a game the whole time? Questioned Long Chen. Of course not. The monastery raises you in order for you to mature into people worthy of respect. People who will uphold the righteous path. Your goal is to eradicate those corrupt devils who endanger the common people, protecting them from their cruelty. Elder Sun put on the airs of a very just and righteous man. But Long Chen had long since seen through that old man's nature. He ridiculed. Then in other words, we are to become fighters against the corrupt devils. Then let me ask, will we face danger when fighting against them? Rubbish. How could there not be danger when fighting? Righteous people must not be afraid Long Chen directly cut him off. Since the fighting will be dangerous, then that is a life and death struggle. Then the reason we cultivate today is because each extra bit of strength we gain will relate to whether or not we will be able to survive those great battles. In other words, this struggle for resources right now is to train us so that we can have a greater chance to survive at that time. Suddenly Long Chen's voice grew louder, echoing through the sky. Then you old bastard. Tell me, is this competition supposed to be just a game? They betrayed us, causing us to lose all the resources we should have gained. Now without resources, our power will drop, affecting our cultivation. As we lose out step by step, our entire power level will weaken. That means even more of us here will die in the battles between the righteous and corrupt paths. So tell me, is this a fucking knife in the back or not? Long Chen's quiet aura once more erupted when he finished speaking and his murderous aura locked onto Elder Sun everyone's hearts trembled. Although senior apprentice brother Wan had warned everyone that this wasn't a game, everyone had still felt that they were simply playing around. It was just a game that was very important. They had never thought that this game would concern their future life and death. Now that Long Chen had spelled it out for them, they were completely shook. They knew Long Chen's words were not alarmist at all. Elder Sun's face was green, not knowing how to respond. If he accepted Long Chen was right. Then his killing those people could be considered a justified action and he would be unable to punish him. He wanted to retort, but he couldn't just lie through his teeth like that. That would just cause even more people to despise him, losing all his prestige. His expression sunk. In his heart, he already hated Long Chen to the death. It had been many years since someone had cursed him right in the face, and he actually had no way to retort now. You have nothing to say? Do you know why the monastery would conduct such a team battle? Why would they choose this over solo battles? Isn't it because they want to raise the core disciples' leadership abilities? Letting everyone work with one heart. Fostering trust between us? Who cares if a person is that much stronger? Can they be stronger than a whole team? And that's the only reason the monastery uses such a method for the competition. Mutual protection. Uniting as one entity. Releasing even more power. Long Chen pointed at Gu Yang and them. Ridiculing. As for the smarts of you idiots. That's just a bunch of bullshit. 
You think a little clever ploy can count as smarts? With your little tricks, if you ran into the sinister and crafty corrupt devils, you would be turned into a corpse before you could ever try playing smart. Why are we in teams? So in the face of a death battle, we can leave our backs to our comrades. Because we have that trust. Even if those comrades die, we know they'll protect our backs. Can a bunch of pigs like you understand that? Gu Yang's face sunk and he retorted. TCH. A loss is a loss. What use do your complaints have? Long Chen smiled slightly. Of course such words have no use for a pig like you who only thinks about himself. But I believe there are people who can understand my words. Those spies still hidden within other people's factions. If you can understand what I'm saying, then be a true person and walk out on your own. Don't deceive other people's trust and feelings. After Long Chen finished speaking, one person sighed and walked out of his faction. He said to his core disciple, I'm really sorry. I've disappointed everyone's trust. I will leave the faction, but I also will not return to my original faction. After that person walked out, there were immediately another seven others whose faces were red from shame who also walked out. The first person to walk out was just about to leave his faction when he was grabbed by the core disciple. He bitterly smiled. If you want to kill me, go ahead. I won't resist. Being treated as a brother amongst everyone really caused my heart incomparable torment over the past few days. I've had enough of that pain. I want to be like Long Chen. To be a real, genuine man. Even if you kill me now, I think I'll still count as a real man. The entire crowd was silent, watching that core disciple. That core disciple heavily patted him on the shoulders. What are you doing? If you leave, where am I supposed to get another brother? That person was shocked. Looking into that core disciple's eyes, he couldn't hold back his tears. Hey, if you keep acting like a girl then I really will kick you out. Come, these many brothers can't lose you. That core disciple was filled with emotion. After that disciple returned to his faction, there were immediately several other core disciples who called back those people who had walked out. Don't just stand there stupidly. Everyone's already returned. So don't just stand there like an idiot. Other core disciples also scolded them lightly. Those people weren't much better than the first one. Also crying from emotion. Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang saw everything from above. Ling Yunzi nodded. Long Chen is a natural leader. He has an innate charisma that causes people to follow him to the grave. With just a couple words, he was able to fill quite a few of them with an unswerving loyalty. That's not something ordinary experts are able to do. Tu Fang also nodded. Long Chen had a wisdom that did not match his age. He had managed to see through the monastery's goals with just a glance. But he was unable to comprehend why someone so smart would do some things that were so stupid. With Long Chen's wisdom, even if he had suffered defeat during this time, he would definitely have been able to turn the situation around quickly. Why did he have to use such an extreme method? It's Long Chen right? I am Luo Kang. I hope we can be friends. That first core disciple who forgave his undercover agent and pulled that disciple back walked over to Long Chen and extended a hand. I don't like having friends. Long Chen shook his head. Instead I like having life and death brothers. Long Chen also extended his hand. That person's expression changed when he heard the first half. But hearing the rest he laughed heartily. The two of them clasped hands. Luo Kang laughed. Good. Hopefully there will be a day where I can stand with brother Long on the battlefield. Following Luo Kang's actions, there were also several other core disciples who walked over to shake hands with Long Chen. Although Long Chen's cultivation base was the weakest here, everyone deeply admired that arrogance and heroic nature of his. As for Gu Yang, Lai Kai and Shang, and Qi Xin, their expressions were extremely ugly. That was because all those turncoats had been placed there by them. Now that all those disciples turned against them, their petty tricks had immediately been revealed. Those turncoats who were allowed to return to their faction looked at them especially contemptuously, causing them to almost burst from fury. Elder son, Long Chen has broken the monastery's rules and maliciously killed people. His crime cannot be forgiven. Please give us justice elder. Qishin respectfully bowed to elder son. Originally elder son had been completely shut up by Long Chen's questions. Then seeing more and more core disciples walk over to him, he immediately realized the situation was getting out of his control. He had been thinking of how to react to all this when Qi Xin's words have him a reminder. I really have been an idiot. What do I need to argue about with him? Since he's killed people and broken the monastery's rules, I can just directly declare his punishment. Realized elder son he gravely said, Long Chen, no matter how you quibble, you cannot change the fact that you maliciously killed people. 
but you should be thankful that the monastery's rules favor the strong. You won't have to pay with your life for killing others. However, from today onwards, you will never be a disciple of this monastery again. You are expelled. Tang Wan'er was the first to walk up. Since Elder has made such a judgment, then Tang Wan'er will also leave the monastery with Long Chen. What? Everyone was given a shock. Tang Wan'er would actually go with Long Chen if he was expelled. Yes Hikiu also wishes to leave. Yes Hikiu was completely determined. Long Chen was dumbstruck. He was about to say something when someone else then spoke Novaloon.com Song Mingyuan also wishes to leave. Li Qi also wishes to leave. Luo Kang as well other than these five. There were also another four core disciples who stood out. They clearly believed that with this many people together, the monastery definitely wouldn't expel them all. Even though he had broken the rules, with this many people supporting his actions, there was no way Elder Sun could punish him. At this critical moment, they had all chosen to stand by Long Chen. Are you all planning on rebelling? Elder Sun raged. They were completely forcing the monastery in this manner. If this continued, he really would be unable to punish Long Chen. Suddenly, a voice rang out that filled the entire sky. Let me handle this matter. Chapter 199 Exiled Translator Born to be suddenly a middle-aged man appeared in front of them. No one was able to see how he had appeared. Greetings sect leader. Elder Sun was given a fright and hastily bowed. Following him, the others also quickly bowed. All the new disciples were shocked. This was their Zhuanshan Monastery sect leader, a top expert of legends. Long Chen's heart was also moved. Looking at Ling Yunzi, he was shocked to find that although he was standing right there, his spiritual strength was unable to feel his presence. That was like he was just an empty image. He was unable to sense his cultivation base. It was like he had already merged with all of heaven and earth. What a terrifying cultivation base. Long Chen was completely shocked. Of all the experts he had ever seen, other than that spirit world's expert, Ling Yunzi was definitely the strongest. Ling Yunzi nodded. Looking over everyone, he smiled. Your actions just now are useless. The monastery's rules were set by the ancestors and cannot be changed. Even I am unable to change them. If you think you can threaten the monastery like this, you are wrong. Even if you all leave the monastery, the monastery's rules cannot be changed. Tang Wan'er and the others' expressions all changed. Even the sect leader was unable to change the rules. Then didn't that mean that it was already set in stone that Long Chen would be expelled? Long Chen looked at the people supporting him. I appreciate all your good intentions, but I will accept the consequences of my own actions. And there's no need to be so sad. It's not like I'm dying. Even if I won't be in the Zhuanshan Monastery, I'll still grow on my own. Long Chen. Tang Wan'er's voice shuddered. Long Chen waved his hand, cutting her off. We're all no longer children. Don't let your emotions control you. You all had your own reasons for coming to the monastery. So don't mess around like an angry kid. Tears covered Tang Wan'er's face as she lightly sobbed. The others also found this unacceptable. But now it seemed Long Chen would definitely be expelled. As for the distant Gu Yang and then, they naturally sneered. Elder Sun also sighed in relief. If Long Chen wasn't expelled, he wouldn't be able to carry out his scheme. Admiration appeared in Ling Yunzi's eyes as he looked at Long Chen. In accordance to the monastery's rules, Long Chen, you have two options. One is to be expelled, and the other is to be exiled. Exiled. Long Chen was startled, never having heard of this second option. Correct. The monastery's rules are favored towards the strong, so there is still a chance for you to stay in the monastery. It is up to you, said Ling Yunzi. I suppose this exile is not something so simple, am I right? Asked Long Chen. Of course. This so-called exile is for core disciples who have violated the rules. They will be sent to a rubble wasteland tens of thousands of miles from the monastery. Let me warn you, that is the territory of third-rank magical beasts. There are even fourth-rank magical beasts there, solemnly explained Ling Yunzi. Everyone's heart shook. Third-rank magical beasts? Wasn't that just forfeiting their lives? And you might even encounter a fourth-rank magical beast? Just how many people were even capable of defeating third-rank magical beasts? Fourth-rank magical beasts were on the same level as the bone-forging elders. Wasn't choosing exile just choosing death? At least if you were expelled you could keep your life. If you were exiled there, there was no way you could survive. Has there ever been anyone who has chosen exile? Long Chen asked after a moment of thought. There has. Ever since the monastery was established, there has been a total of 173 people who have chosen exile, answered Ling Yunzi. 
Then how many people succeeded? Long Chen was more concerned with the pass rate. It's very regretful, but not one has ever returned alive. What? Everyone beside Long Chen let out a startled exclamation. So in thousands of years, there were over a hundred core disciples who had chosen exile, and not one of them had returned alive. That was not a slim chance, but essentially no chance. Long Chen, don't do it. That's just a path to death, urged Tang Wan'er. Long Chen smiled and consoled her. Don't worry, turning to Ling Yunzi, he said. Many thanks sect leader. Disciple Chas's exile everyone was stunned. Was Long Chen really a madman? That was clearly a road to death. But then thinking about everything Long Chen had done in the monastery, it seemed he had never done anything the normal way. He dared take action in a fighting forbidden region. Fighting with law enforcers. Cursing an elder. Were those things a normal person would do? Ha ha ha. Good. Return and make your preparations. Three days later, you will be exiled to that rubble wasteland. Ling Yanzi laughed and his body faded away just like in front of everyone's eyes. It was just like when he had arrived. No one could see how he left. Elder Sun then announced the rankings. Gu Yang's faction was originally number two, but after stealing their flags, he had immediately became number one. Second and third place were Lai Kianchang and Qi Xin's factions. The two of them had evenly split Ye Hikyu's faction's flags. As for fourth place, that went to the last person who had awakened his ancestral mark, Guan Winan. Other than these top four, the other factions possessed pitifully few flags. Many didn't even have more than 10 those who were tied in terms of flags were ranked in accordance to how many of their members were still standing at this point. As for Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu's factions, they didn't have a single flag, so they naturally ranked last. As for who was last or second last, naturally it was insignificant. After that declaration, a large group of Healing Hall disciples came over to help everyone recover. Long Chen also saw several familiar faces. Oh, aren't you that kind brother? Here, let me heal you. One maiden suddenly saw Guo Ran and hastily ran over to him, healing his wounds. There were also quite a few others who came to feed him medicines, circulating their spiritual key to also heal him. Those maidens all possessed a trace of wood energy, and under their assistance, Guo Ran's pain was alleviated greatly. Thank you all. Thank Guo Ran. No need to thank us. It should be us who thanks you. Last time if you and that brother hadn't come, we'd all have been ousted. Now I finally have a chance to repay you, excitedly explained one of them. Guo Ran smiled bitterly. Perhaps in the future you'll often have a chance to repay me. Those maidens seemed to have not heard what his actual meaning was. After healing his bones and using their spiritual key to help him recover, his body was already greatly healed. They told him not to use too much force for the next three days. Afterwards he should basically be fine and he should be fully healed after 10 days. Although these girls were somewhat amateurish, their spiritual key was extremely suited for healing. This recovery speed was extremely quick. Looking at everyone that was covered with wounds, those girls' eyes lit up excitedly, causing everyone to shiver. Everyone understood they saw their injuries as experiments, but still, that was mutually beneficial for both sides. They could fight as intensely as they wanted without being afraid of being wounded and these maidens could heal their wounds to accumulate more experience, raising the entire capability of the healing hall. Brother Long Chen, let me give you a checkup. One maiden shyly came up to Long Chen. She was very bashful, and Long Chen still remembered how she and the rest of them had used him and Guo Ran as a tool for experimentation. His arm still remembered that stinging pain, and it was this girl who had contributed the most to that pain. Back then she had been so nervous she had almost cried. Long Chen actually had had to continuously console and encourage her before she finally managed to perfect her technique. Long Chen smiled and was about to refuse when a cold shout suddenly rang out. A person about to die doesn't need an examination. Do you not have anything else to do? At some unknown time, Lu Chuan had walked over, disdainfully looking down on Long Chen. That maiden angrily retorted, Brother Long will be fine. Senior apprentice brother Lu Chuan, don't talk nonsense. HMPH. What kind of joke is that? That wasteland is called the graveyard of the exiled. In this long of a time, there hasn't been a single exile to walk out of there alive. Right now, he's basically already dead. Don't waste time on a corpse. I order you to go heal other people's injuries, shouted Lu Chuan. He was the leader of this group from the healing hall. These new disciples were all under his direction, so he had the authority to order them. You. That's nonsense. Brother Long is a good person, he'll return alive. That girl's eyes reddened and a tear rolled out. 
She stubbornly refused to leave. How brazen. You dare ignore my orders? Do you believe me when I say I will kick you out of the healing hall? Raged Lu Chuan. He hadn't expected a shy little girl like her would dare defy him. Long Chen walked up a step and said to Lu Chuan. Looks like you forget yourself as soon as the scar fades. Do you believe me when I say that at this distance? Cutting off your head is as easy as turning my hand. Lu Chuan was appalled and couldn't help taking a step back. If someone else said had that he would have just snorted disdainfully. But when it came to Long Chen, it seemed there was nothing in the world that Long Chen didn't dare do. Now being glared at by Long Chen, his hair immediately stood on end and sweat trickled down his back. He felt as if a blade was already being pressed against his neck. Novaloon.com did you know? Even if I kill you, there won't be any punishment? I'll still just be sent to that exile place. Long Chen icily stared at Lu Chuan. Lu Chuan gulped. Being stared at by Long Chen was like being stared at by the Grim Reaper. Sweat dripped from his forehead and his face was pale as paper. He was absolutely terrified. When I return alive and hear that you've purposely made things hard for this junior sister, I will cut your head off to use as a stool. After saying that, Long Chen turned to the girl and gently said, I don't need any healing. Study well. I believe you'll become a true expert of the healing hall one day. Long Chen was disinclined to bother any further with Lu Chuan. He departed with Tang Wan'er and them, returning to their immortal cave. Long Chen told Tang Wan'er, These three days are extremely important. I'll give you a list of medicinal ingredients. You and sisters Hikia use all your points to exchange for them. Tang Wan'er had no choice but to go to Ye's Hikyu, because her own points were unable to buy all of them. Chapter 200 Graveyard of the Exiled Translator Born to be three days later, Long Chen walked out of his immortal cave in an exhausted state. He saw that outside the immortal cave, his entire faction had gathered to send him off. And it wasn't just his people, but also Ye's Hikyu's faction had come as well. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and five other core disciples had also come over. They had all expressed their support of Long Chen on that day. But unfortunately their support hadn't changed the monastery's decision. But in any case, they were still filled with respect for Long Chen. His strength wasn't necessarily the strongest, but he always dared to resist the rules, dared to confront enemies, and dared to face any hardships without any fear. Oh, how lively. Did you all come here to send me off? Laughed Long Chen. You really are my good brothers, my good sisters. But you guys look a bit too unpresentable. Where are the streamers and ribbons? If you waved those around while cheering my name, that'd definitely be grander. Everyone saw that Long Chen appeared completely exhausted. They assumed he had begun to feel the pressure of being exiled. But no one ridiculed him. After all, that was a path of definite death. For him to even dare to choose that path already proved his bravery. Most amazing of all though was that Long Chen didn't appear to feel the slightest despair or fear. He actually could still joke around with everyone at such a time. Tang Wan'er walked over to Long Chen. Her tears streamed down before she could even say anything. Long Chen laughed. You can't cry in the future. I've already said I'd make anyone who made you cry bleed. Do you want me to stab myself? Tang Wan'er wanted to laugh. But she was unable to. A painful feeling filled her heart. But she didn't even know what feeling that was. She had a mountain of things she wanted to say. But at this moment. She was unable to say anything. Don't worry. Who do you think I, Long Chen, am? As a huge scoundrel, I have a sturdy life that will survive any disasters. I'll be fine. Long Chen consoled Tang Wan'er when he saw her continue to cry. Stay safe. Tang Wan'er looked at Long Chen through her tears. I promise. I'll return alive. Long Chen solemnly extended a hand. Okay. Then I'll trust you. But if you break your promise, I'll hate you for a lifetime. Tang Wan'er clasped hands with Long Chen. Long Chen's promise calmed her down a real deal. She knew Long Chen was someone who kept his promises. Now King Yu walked over and gently tidied up his collar. You have to be careful this time. You can't be negligent or careless at all. Do you understand? In front of King Yu's older sister-like love, Long Chen's heart soured slightly. But he suppressed his own emotions and nodded. Boss, you must definitely return. We'll all go take revenge together. Guo Ran also came up, reluctant to part with him. Long Chen patted him on the shoulders. Good brother, I'll definitely return. When I do, we'll properly go settle our debt with them. I still have something to tell you. You possess an expert's day of heart, and you obviously understand what it truly means to protect something. But your talent isn't all that high, so in the future you'll suffer greatly. If you really want to become a true expert, you need to blaze a new cultivation path. Guo Ran nodded. 
Understanding what Long Chen meant, he possessed no advantage by just cultivating normally. He needed to find an unorthodox method to break through of his current self. Suddenly the sky darkened and a huge hawk eagle flew over, descending to the ground. It was over 50 meters long and gave everyone there an intense pressure. It was a powerful third-rank magical beast. There was an elder standing atop the hawk eagle. He said to Long Chen, The time has arrived. Say your final goodbye to your friends. Long Chen shook his head and smiled slightly. Jumping atop the hawk eagle, he said, There's no need for farewells. We will see each other again. Looking at his brothers and sisters, he shouted, Okay, everyone return and work hard to cultivate. I'm going to have a little stroll. That elder patted the hawk eagle and it spread its wings, releasing a powerful astral wind as it soared into the sky. It disappeared from people's vision in an instant. Seeing that figure disappear, everyone said their own farewells and returned to their factions. Now that the gap had been pulled open, if they didn't cultivate as hard as they could, the gap would only grow wider. Tang Wanna returned to her immortal cave. Atop the table were countless bottles and jars as well as a piece of paper. The paper told Tang Wanner that the name of these medicinal pills was the Tendon Nourishing Pill. It was a medicinal pill for use at the early stage of tendon transformation. It would allow spiritual key to nourish the tendons faster, increasing one's cultivation speed. She looked from the words on the page to the bottles of medicinal pills. That was the result of Long Chen refining for three days and nights. Tang Wanner could no longer hold back her emotions and burst into tears. King Yu walked over and patted her on the shoulders, consoling her. Long Chen will definitely return. He refined these medicinal pills for us because he was afraid we wouldn't have enough points to keep up with the others while he's gone. So what you need to do now is to distribute these medicinal pills to everyone. You and Ye's Hiki you also need to quickly increase your own strength. Tang Wanner wiped away her tears and nodded. Sister King Yu, I know. I'll get stronger. I have a debt to settle with those bastards. Within an elder's immortal cave, a young disciple was standing before Elder Sun from his robes. He seemed like a law enforcer, one of Long Chen's senior apprentice brothers. Feng Hei, did you remember everything I told you? First is to bring back Long Chen's spatial ring, and the other thing is to capture his soul in this soul-locking pearl. You mustn't forget, solemnly warned Elder Sun disciple understands, that person respectfully bowed. Although you are already an expert in the mid-tendon transformation realm, that doesn't mean anything in the rubble wasteland. There are countless third-rank magical beasts and there are even fourth-rank magical beasts. I'll give you two aura concealing pills. Once you take it, as long as you don't intentionally release your aura, no magical beasts will be able to sense you. Take one on the way there, handle Long Chen, and take another one of the way back. Remember, you can't leak any news of this at all. Once more solemnly warned Elder Sun yes, disciple understands. Okay, go. Once you accomplish this, I'll personally help you break through to the late tendon transformation realm. Many thanks elder, that person was delighted, hastily bowing once more before leaving. Seeing that person disappear, elder son smiled sinisterly. Long Chen, just how are you planning on escaping now? Sitting atop the flying magical beast, Long Chen realized they were flying straight north. All kinds of arduous lands passed beneath them. High mountains, thick forests, deep winding gorges. Do you have any regrets? That elder was the first to open his mouth. No, even if I had to do it again, I do it the same way. Long Chen shook his head. He knew that he was also helpless about this. That elder ruefully looked at Long Chen. Young people really have it the best. Looking at you, I'm reminded of myself when I joined the monastery. Haha, <laughs> 60 years passed in an instant. My sharpness has long since been grinded away. Elder, can you help me do something? Seeing that this elder was so amicable, he had an idea. Hey, hey, we're just chatting. I can't help you cheat. That elder immediately became on guard. He thought Long Chen would want him to send him somewhere else. In any case, no one else would know. Once Long Chen returned to the monastery afterwards, his exile would be over. Elder has misunderstood my meaning. I don't want you to help me cheat. But after we arrive at the rubble wasteland, can you help me kill a third rank magical beast? Asked Long Chen. Oh, that's no problem at all promised that elder. This journey is very far. It will probably take a whole day. You should first rest during this time, he reminded Long Chen. Long Chen nodded. He really was tired from having refined pills for three days straight. It wouldn't be good for him to enter that kind of dangerous wasteland in this state. He needed to recover first. His huge divine ring appeared behind him, beginning to absorb energy. At this point, 
his divine ring was no longer any secret, so he didn't need to have any misgivings about that. But that hawk eagle was given a fright once Long Chen summoned his divine ring. It only calmed down once the elder consoled it. It went without saying that the divine ring's power was amazing. In just six hours, Long Chen's spiritual key was completely recovered. When he once more opened his eyes, he saw the scenery around him had completely changed. The ground had leveled out, and occasionally he could see some wild beasts roaming around. He also saw quite a few vicious magical beasts from the air. A huge, fierce tiger with brightly colored fur. A serpent that was even thicker than a water jar. All kinds of magical beasts appeared. Some magical beasts let out an angry roar when they saw the hawk eagle fly above them. Obviously that was a warning. Long Chen let out a startled cry at how terrifying these magical beasts were. It was no wonder that not one exile had managed to walk back to the monastery from here. Who knew just how many years these magical beasts had lived for. Their auras were many times stronger than Little Snow's. That was because Little Snow had only just reached the third rank. He couldn't even count as having reached the early stage. But he still possessed such terrifying power. As for these magical beasts that had controlled their domains for many, many years. They had long since reached the mid-stage, or some even the late stage. Their power was incomparable, let alone Long Chen who was only in the blood condensation realm. Even a mid-tendon transformation expert wouldn't necessarily be able to walk out alive. It was reported that those core disciples that had previously been exiled here had all been in the tendon transformation realm. But even so, every single one of them had died here. But Long Chen had chosen exile because he had no other choice. These countless third-rank magical beasts would allow him to gather magical beast essence blood. It was an excellent place for him to make 10,000 beast essence blood. In the past three days, he had not only refined the tendon nourishing pills, but also the medicinal powders required for the 10,000 beast essence blood. Everything was arranged for him. All he needed was magical beast essence blood and he'd be able to make it, allowing him to quickly increase his cultivation base. That was the reason he had chosen exile. This was the only way for him to quickly increase his cultivation base. Otherwise he would forever be unable to catch up. At dawn the next day, they arrived at a huge wasteland. Huge rugged stone mountains littered this land. A gloomy sinister scent filled this place. They had arrived at the rubble wasteland. The graveyard of the exiled. 